glitters. No, glittery. Glittery? No, 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 no. Glittering. Glittering. Oh, that sounds best. What do you think, Pupcake? Rock custard? <coughs> oh, why, thank you. Hmm, now what rhymes with star? <gasps> I know, far. <clears throat> Up in the sky, so very far. <gasps> Look, what's that? A falling star. One wish to make, what will it be? A lot at stake, you must agree. Little white light, a glittering ball. With great delight, I watch it fall. Soon as it's gone, my wish comes then. To see before dawn, one fall again. Oh, huh? bravo! Delightful, Miss Shortcake, simply delightful. Oh, Mr. Longface, I'm so glad you're here. It's only a week until the next story time corner, and you're the perfect person to help me with the poem I'll be reading for everyone. It's almost there, I think, but I would be grateful for some help with these two words. Oh, it would be an honor. <laughs> oh, thank you. Just those two words are all that I... Oops, excuse me. Strawberries Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, that's great. I'll be right over, Raspberry. Um, do you mind watching the cafe, Mr. Longface? Just running over to Raspberry's Boutique. Be right back. Why, certainly. Take your time. Hmm, glittering. Oh, no, 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 no. Glittery. Yes. I'm so excited. A custom-designed, one-of-a-kind, raspberry original dress for my own poetry night. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have all of your merry measurements. Ooh. Now I know what size to make your dress so you can relax. <laughs> Oh, would you like to see my preliminary, you know, my first sketches? And you can make any changes you want. Surprise me. I just love surprises. Well, okay then. I guess so. Then I'll just, uh, you know, go with what I had, I mean, have in mind. If that's what you have in mind. Sounds terrific. Well, I've got to get back to the cafe. Thanks. I'll have it ready for you by story time. Falling star from outer space, how huh? doth I wish to see your face? Oh, falling star up in the sky, I see you twinkle with my eye. Don't fly away, you'll make me cry. <gasps> oh, <clears throat> ah, Miss Shortcake, would you know a word that rhymes with cry? Why? Why? Of course, perfect. I mean, why change so much of my poem? Didn't you like it? Oh, oh no, my dear. I simply adored it. I merely made a few changes to give it more of that sense of, well, being there. The actual moment when you saw the star. Well, to tell the truth, I haven't ever seen a shooting star. I was more imagining. Oh, my. But to be a true poet, you must write about what you know. To write what it feels like to wish upon a falling star, you must experience it for yourself. Hmm. Hi, guys. Hi, Plum Pudding. Where are you off to, Strawberry? On a camp out. I'm trying to write a poem about wishing on a shooting star, and Mr. Longface says to write about something, you should experience it. Ah, uh, yes. Just like when I dance, one has to feel it from within. Uh, yeah. Think it might be a little cold tonight for a camp out? Well, if this will make me a better writer, it's worth it. Oh, wait! I have some Glowberry Sunflower Energy Bars. They're just the thing for a camp out. Thanks, Plum. Looks like Raspberry's working late. Maybe she could use some munchies. Oh, do me a favor, will you? Make sure she's not working too hard on that dress she's making for me. Sure thing. Have fun! Hi, Raspberry. How's it going? Well, I started out with a design 
design I liked, but then, well, I wasn't so sure, so I made a couple changes, and pretty soon I'm changing my mind back and forth, but now I'm thinking I really like what I started with best, but now I'm worried I won't finish it in time. Oh, you poor thing. Can I help? I can cut stuff, or you could show me what to do. Oh, that's so sweet of you, but it's really important to me that I do this by myself. Know what I mean? I guess. Are you sure? I'm sure. I just hope I can. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> what are you saying? That I'm no fashion expert? <laughs> Always in style. Always in fashion. And it only took me a couple of minutes. What's that? Not strawberry style? No problem. I'll just pull another model out of my sleeve. There! Hiya, hiya! I'm a strawberry snow dress. How do you like me? <laughs> oh, dear. Did I cheer you up? <laughs> oh, yeah. But now I really have to get back to work. Oh, I like this so much. I just want, I just hope, I just... Wish I can make it in time. You'll do it. You just need a good night's sleep, a fresh start in the morning, and I know you'll make your wish come true. I'll close up your shop. Really? Okay. Good night, Plum. Hmm. <sighs> Thanks again. What are friends for? Blueberry? It's Plum. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Okay, no more yawning. And so that's the deal. Aw, poor Raspberry. And you know how she wants everything she makes to be the very best it can be. That's why I say we've got to finish Strawberry's outfit ourselves. Tonight! What Plum's talking about us doing sounds like this story. The shoemaker and the elves. While the shoemaker is asleep, these elves sneak in and make the shoes to help him out. <gasps> we could be like the elves! Raspberry secret helpers! Deal? Deal! Deal. What? 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 <sighs> okay. No more sleeping. original design, so I... Uh, well, you see, we thought, well, it was... It was the fashion elves! Fashion elves? Yeah! You know, like, the story about the shoemaker's elves? Blueberry has a book about it. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Kinda like, um... The Berrykins! But with pointy shoes! They know when you're in need, and they come at night and help. Really? Can you see them? Well, um... You can! I mean, you can't. I mean, you can, 
But you shouldn't. Those are the rules. You spy on fashion elves, they run away and never come back. That's right. Elves, Psh, what are you gonna do? It must have been because you were wishing so hard for your dress to be made. Your wish came true. It isn't that you couldn't have done it on your own. And it's still from your design. Well, not really. <laughs> this is a much more uh, complicated, but wow. If these fashion elves can make a design this complicated in one night, think what they could do with a little more uh, direction. Huh? huh? Now I can really go wild and design something for Strawberry that is extra, extra ordinary, out of this world. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, something like uh, like this. I'll leave a new design out for the fashion elves tonight and see how they do with it. Um, maybe they're uh, only one night elves. Uh, possibly yes, but in case they are here to stay, I better get designing because Strawberry deserves the very best. <laughs> Keep your heels on the floor as long as possible. Don't you think we should tell her the truth? <sighs> How are we gonna stay up another whole night? I was going to until somebody said fashion elves. I'm sorry. <sighs> Releve and turn around. <sighs> Grand plie. Uh, first position. <laughs> Yum! Elf snacks! We're gonna need the nutrition. This is a monster of a dress. We'll never finish it by morning. We've got to for Raspberry. Look, let's divide the design in four parts and each take a section. Good idea. See? Now if it drizzles, we won't get wet. We'll just climb into the tent. Oh, muffin crumbs. It's stuck! <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> Morning, Raspberry. We came to see the elves' latest and greatest. <gasps> this is exquisite! Especially this area. I really love this lace down here. Hmm. <laughs> but see, it only goes partway around the hem. Hmm. It seems like the elves have gotten off track. Off track? Well, I, I think this outfit is a smashing success. It's fabulous. Just look at the placement of these buttons. So, uh, pleasingly unexpected. But, but, but girls, this dress doesn't look anything like my design. Hmm. But I like this detail here. Oh, and this lace over here. And these buttons are quite <laughs> clever. But the whole thing seems like too many of uh, different designs in one. I know. Huh? huh? What are you doing? You're not doing a new design, are you? Oh, no, no, no. I'm writing the elves a note. Well, you could just tell us and... <gasps> Dear elves, please concentrate on uh, one idea and go with it. <laughs> Gratefully yours, Raspberry Tort. So you see the problem? I really think the best solution is to go with my idea. But I don't know how to tell the girls in the nicest way so I don't make them feel like I'm, you know, putting down their dress designs. And how many nights have you girls been fashion sprites? Elves. Sorry, I've lost count. Um, four? I, tell you what, I'm about to open the cafe, so why don't you come back at five today and we'll talk it over. I think I'll have an answer by then. Oh, that's great. Okay, thanks, Strawberry. So what do you think? How can I convince them to go with my idea and not hurt their feelings? Lemon, I'm having trouble hearing. Can you come by the cafe at, say, five o'clock? And I'm sure I'll have an answer for you. Five? Great, thanks, Strawberry. Oh, 
know you've got to help me. My idea is just simplest, that's all, but I don't want to appear bossy, you know. I have to get back to the cafe, but come by at, say, five, and we'll talk it over. Strawberry, you said five o'clock, right? Oh, uh, hi, Blueberry. I'll be with you in just a second. <gasps> oh, uh, oh, hey. Hi, hi. Uh, hi. How are you? Hi, all. Tea? Muffins? I know. Smoothies! But I thought you said we'd be meeting in private. No, I didn't. I'm sorry, girls, but I just don't feel comfortable taking secret meetings. I have a feeling this is something that we need to get out in the open. I mean, none of you would like the idea of something being done behind your back, would you? But it was only... We didn't mean to, Strawberry! <laughs> we were not just trying to... It's okay. It's okay. I know you wanted to help Raspberry, which is very sweet. I just think being secret fashion elves might not be the best way. But we had to. I offered to help her, but she wanted to do it all by herself. Helping is good, but... <sighs> Well, Pardon the interruption, but here are three of my latest versions of your poem for your review, Miss Shortcake. What were you saying, Strawberry? Oh, it's just sometimes you want to make something your own way. You know, it's nice to know you can do some things all on your own. All on your own. Yes. Hmm. Strawberry's right. We should tell her the truth. Oh, but how? She'll be so disappointed. I'd rather make ten more dresses than disappoint Raspberry. Maybe the trouble is that we weren't working together. Let's all agree on one design and start over. Morning's a wasting. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I've gotten used to oversleeping now that all my work is being done for me. Wow. Oh, it's perfect. It's absolutely amazing. Then why do you look so sad? Hmm. Because I didn't make it. I really wanted to make something sweet for Strawberry that was all from me to her. My own design, all made by me. I can't take credit for this, though, even if it is really fabulously fantastic. Although the elves could surely use some practice with their cross-stitching. See, but I'm worried I'm going to hurt the elves' feelings. But I have one more day to make Strawberry's dress, and I'm going to ask them to let me do it all by myself. Listen, Raspberry, you don't need to write the note. There's, um, something we need to tell you. It's just that I really want to read everyone a poem of my own. Oh, of course. Uh, you're perfectly right, Miss Shortcake. I I'm afraid I got a bit carried away. I hope you know how much I always appreciate your help, Mr. Longface. As I appreciate yours, Miss Shortcake, your poem reawakened my long-lost love of poetry. Oh. oh, girls, I know you were just trying to help. Well, if I fail, at least Strawberry could wear the dress you made. Well, I've got a lot of work to do. Maybe there's another way we can help you, Raspberry. Huh? You know, if it's too simple, Strawberry, I have a backup dress that is... Oh, I'd know a raspberry design anywhere. It's beautiful. I've done a lot of things so far, but never wished on a falling star. I've heard they're sparkly, fast and white, with glittery tails that light the night. Maybe. They look kind of prickly or furry. Someday I'll know, but I'm in no hurry. Who knows where I'll see one or when? 
I guess I'll just save up my wishes till then. In the meantime, I'm just having fun. Imagining the time when I do see one. <laughs> Princess Berrykin is always the one to plant the zippy grow geranium seed when the last snow berrykin has melted. I know. Of all the times to be called away by the Biddy Berry Growers Association to Berry Big City. But I'm sure it must have been very urgent. There's no way around it. It's up to you, Berrykin Bloom, to plant the first flower of spring. Mm -hmm. oh. Can bloom. There he is. <laughs> Time for the Berry Fest Spring Festival. <laughs> According to my history and mystery of Berry Bitty City, first edition, there have to be a Berry Fest princess. And Princess Berrykin has been Berry Fest Princess since the beginning of the book. So who's gonna do it now? <gasps> the Berry Fest Princess has great responsibilities. She must organize and manage and lead the festival. And she must love the events. Judge all the flowers. Smell all the flowers. Know all about spring. Not to mention the Wanderberry. And of course, she must ride in the front of a parade in a beautiful Carriage. That's, That's for me. me. How will we ever choose? Uh, draw straw. A quick game of musical chairs. Oh. Find someone with a name that rhymes with drum. It was just a thought. Well, there's only one way to be fair. Berry Bitty City must do something it's never done before. <laughs> Have an election. You know, when I choose someone to work at the post office, they have to show me they can do the job first. Oh, a splendid idea indeed. Let's put the potential candidates through a few tests, huh? To see if they have what it takes to be very fast princess. Yeah! yeah. 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 The first challenge! The Berry Fest Princess judges the flower contest at the festival. Let's see who knows their flowers. You may proceed. Ah, oh, that's easy. A rose by any other name would still smell as rosy. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> I think I have a double begonia. Don't you mean double pneumonia, Katie Buck? No, no, no. Katie Buck was right the first time. It is a begonia. <laughs> the flower is a daisy. And you had three slices of cantaloupe at lunch? Uh, you are right. On both counts. <laughs> What do you call a flower that grows in between your nose and your chin? Tulips. Get it? <laughs> Tulips. Oh, good answer. And a lackluster joke. Lackluster? What does that mean? He means not so good. Huh. I thought it was a fabulous joke. Well, everyone has different tastes, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> you ate your flower, and you are disqualified. I couldn't help it. I was hungry. I think she ate a honeysuckle. That is correct. <laughs> that is a zinnia, a genus of 20 species of annual and perennial plants of family Asteraceae. Hmm, I suppose you are correct. It's a zinnia, at least. Oh, boy, I just don't know. Oh, terribly sorry. It was a daffodil. Oh, shucks. No wonder I missed it. Daffodils aren't in fashion this season. With two down, we now move to our final contest. The Berry Fest princess must know her way around the berry grove so that she can catch the Wanderberry. She must show enough athletic ability and stamina to lead the parade, and she must show an appreciation for growing things. The final contestants must climb a strawberry plant. Pick a strawberry, climb down, plant the strawberry, and water the strawberry. First two to finish, win! <laughs> On your marks, get set, plant! Huh. Now, which one should I climb? That one looks good, but uh, rather high. What if I fall? Oh, uh, that one's nice, but oh, the berry's so big, I might drop it. Let me see. Oh, here it is. 100 ways to gather strawberries. One, use a basket. Two, use a bigger basket. Three, don't use a basket, but use a chair to climb up and then use a basket. Oh, good climbing, Orange. You're fast. You're doing great, too. Oh, thank you. Strawberry, get off your vine! I know, I'll dig the hole first, water it, and then get the strawberry. Nice strawberry you picked, Strawberry. I like yours too. Thank you. Uh oh. We did it! Just fall! Fall! We have our two candidates! Yeah. Fall! Aha! Here it is, number 78. Take a basket in your left hand and one in your right. Oh, we're done already? Sure are. I'm gonna ride in that parade carriage no matter what. Me too. There. Done. Only 199 more to go. Oh, uh, pardon me, Sadie Bug. After you. Sorry. Um, let me know you first. <laughs> hey, Strawberry. I've, I've come to be your campaign, campaign manager. manager. Uh, well... Hey! I was gonna say that! Well, <laughs> why don't you both be my campaign managers and team up? Oh, I would be very glad to have your help. Hmm. I only need 199 more signs made. Dig in! Come again soon and vote for orange. 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 What are you doing? Um, I'm handing out vote for orange buttons. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, uh, huh? uh, give me that. <laughs> As your official campaign manager, these bitty buttons don't tell a big enough message. Campaign manager? Here you go. And you, and you too. <laughs> um, Katie Buck, I'm not sure I need a campaign manager, but I really could use a speechwriter. Know any? Don't you worry, soon to be very best princess. I shall take charge and get you the very best. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of. There. All 
done. That looks great, Lemon. Thanks. Oh, how about my side? Um... <laughs> the one who's running for Berry Fest Princess? Oops. I thought she looked kind of familiar. I'll just redraw all of them. You know, Sadie Bug, what I could use more than posters is a speechwriter. And since Blueberry is so good at writing, maybe you could see if she might help. Got it, Berry Fest Princess to be. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm not sure Sadie Bug and I are in agreement on the best way to help you win. Oh, I'm not sure I'm in agreement about any of this. Hey, Blueberry! What, what are, are you, you doing, doing here? here? I asked you first. No, I did. Let's call it a tie. Now, what can I do for you two? You, you have, have to write, write a speech for my candidate. candidate. It would be odd to write a speech for both candidates. And, well, I'm not sure I've decided who I'm going to vote for yet. My candidate's the best. No, mine is. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Stop! You've decided? Well, no, not yet. But my candidate will let you ride with her in the parade. Uh, so will mine. Right up in the front. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I decide. Right in the very front. Like, you couldn't ride in a better place. Yeah. What am I going to do about this? Strawberry! What's the matter, Blueberry? Who do I write a speech for, Strawberry? You, Orange? I love you both. I don't want to hurt either of your feelings. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, no. Worst thing that ever happened to her? I wonder if anyone else feels like that. I'm so sorry, Strawberry, but you're just going to have to find your election fashion somewhere else. What? It's too upsetting for me to make dresses for both you and Orange. But why? You love making dresses. Well, I tried, but every time I added a great-looking detail to one dress, I felt, to be fair, that I had to go back to the other one and add it to the other to be sure both dresses were equally fantastic. Because uh, I love you both. It's making me crazy. But Raspberry, any dress you make for me, I'm sure will be terrific. I won't compare it with oranges, and I'm sure Orange won't either. We'll both just be so happy you made our dresses. I don't know what to do. Oh. <gasps> oh, Strawberry, I don't know what to do. You too. What is it, Plum? I don't know who to vote for. You, Orange, Orange, you. It's tearing me apart. It's fine, Plum. Vote for either Orange or me. Both are good choices. I think Orange would make a great Berry Fest princess. I know. So would you. I don't even know if I want to vote. Oh, my. This is very, very bad. <laughs> That's not what I want to say. Or that. Oh. No, I can do better than that. Hello, Strawberry. Having trouble writing your election speech? <sighs> not my speech. My resignation letter. Resignation? <laughs> Are you dropping out of the election? Yes. I don't want to run for Berry Fest Princess anymore. But why not? It's a great honor, you know. And we really need a Berry Fest princess. I know, but the election is causing too much trouble. Everyone has to make a choice between Orange and me, and it doesn't seem right. We've always been about friends and togetherness. But now, everyone in town is forced to pick one or the other. And some don't know who to vote for and are unhappy. So... So... I think it's best if I drop out of the race. I'm not sure you're seeing why people should have a choice of who to vote for. You think it's, if you vote for me, you like me, and if you vote for her, you like her. 
But it's not really about that. It sure feels that way. Voting shouldn't be about who anyone likes, but the choice they're offering. And it's good to have different choices in things. A choice in what you want to eat for lunch, or, or what to wear, or anything. And you know that just because the people of Barry Bitty City might not agree on who to vote for, they can still get along. You and your friends have different opinions, yet you all get along. Isn't that right? We do. <laughs> well, most of the time. Too bad my own campaign managers don't. <laughs> How does this look? Great. How about mine? Wonderful. Huh? Hi, Hi strawberry. strawberry. I see you two are getting along. Mm-hmm. We realized we weren't getting anything done not working together. So, we made a plan of how to work together. I do the posters my way, and I do the buttons my way. And then we both help each other hand out the buttons and hang up the posters. And most of all, we are both nice no matter what. That's the very best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> so good that it makes me want to write a speech about it. I believe in less planning and more doing. Hmm, more doing. Sounds good to me. Sometimes you just have to jump right in to get things done here in Berry Bitty City. And if you vote for me for Berry Fest Princess, you'll be voting for yourself. Well, actually not yourself, but me. But you know what I mean. I think it would be fun to be Berry Fest Princess. So vote for me! <laughs> Thank you, Orange Blossom, for that wonderful election speech. <laughs> and now, to hear from our second candidate, Strawberry <laughs> Shortcake. <laughs> I agree that being Berry Fest Princess will be fun, but it will also be hard work. And I'm ready for that. And I believe in more planning before doing. More planning. Sounds good. So I guess I don't agree with Orange on everything. But that doesn't mean that we don't get along. I was very confused by this election. I wanted to be Berry Fest Princess, but I also wanted my friend Orange to be too. So running against Orange made me confused. And I think it may be confusing a lot of you too. Oh. And I realized that there are good reasons to vote for both of us. Different reasons. And so, everyone in Berry Bitty City has a chance to choose. And choosing isn't bad. Even though we have different opinions, we all get along. Just remember, no matter who you choose, we'll always, always, always be friends. No matter what. Yay! Yay! Now that we've heard the candidates' speeches, it's time to vote! <laughs> now remember, orange for orange and red for strawberry. Now that we've voted, it's time to count the votes. <laughs> One for orange. One for strawberry. Two for strawberry. Two for orange. And the last vote is for... Orange! Seventy-five plus three. Let's carry the two and... Uh, yes? We have a tie! A tie? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It definitely can't be a tie. As near as I can figure, somebody didn't vote. Oops. Sorry about that. In all the excitement, it must have slipped my mind. Can I vote now? I think you must, or we won't have a Berry Fest princess. I'm going to be in the front of the parade. <laughs> And the Berry Fest Princess for this year is... 
Strawberry Shortcake! Yay! You voted for me? I know it would be fun to win, but, well, I, I thought it over, and my opinion is you would make the best Berry Fest princess. Yeah! Yeah! Who's riding in the front of the parade? That's right, me. Actually, Orange and I decided that since both of you were such, um, good campaign managers, that you should both get to ride at the front of the parade. Both of us? Well, I get to ride in the front of the carriage. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Oh, well, I tried. You sure did. <laughs> then the Galumphalot glumped closer. And closer, and closer, until it went... Woogie, woogie, woogie! <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Orange. I have your lunch all packed and ready for you. Thanks, Strawberry. Um, are they reading what I think they're reading? The Galumphalot story. You should stick around to hear the end. Uh, no, thank you. The beginning and the middle are enough for me. <laughs> and what did the Galumphalot say? Wookie, wookie, wookie! <laughs> <laughs> You decided to have a special <gasps> style under the stars hair extravaganza. <laughs> I can't think of a more thrilling way to spend an evening. Oh boy, I just can't wait to see how my hair will turn out. It's so super exciting. Raspberry, when I'm done with you, your hair will be completely different. Excitement, thrills? I'm here for the relaxation. <sighs> oh, I've had a busy week. over in Berry Bitty City. We'll have to go over there to start the repair. Better keep the baby barricans here until we get the power back on. Oh, yeah, I do oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have no fear. I am here, ready to take charge and fix this problem. Now, everyone, follow me. Come on, Mr. Longface. The problem is not over there. It's at the juice pipe junction. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, I was going to suggest we check there, too. Oh, 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 sorry. I can't see. Ow. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, so what do we do now? I can't style what I can't see. I think we should head outside and see what the trouble is. The Barricans might need some help fixing the power. Out... outside? Um, maybe we should just wait in here. What's wrong, Orange? Is something bothering you? Uh, I guess... I guess I'm just a little bit scared. You? But you're always the very last one of us to be scared of anything. Oh, um, really? Well, yes. Remember the time when... You picked the fruit from the super high branch. And you were the only one brave enough to swing into the pond. 
And then you were the one that tight roped across. Uh, never mind. You're not scared of anything. Well, I'm scared now, and I think we should stay inside. Are you saying you're afraid of the dark? I am absolutely not afraid of the dark. I didn't think you were. I'm afraid of the things that might be out there in the dark. Things? What things? Like the moon and stars? Things like, well, go up a lot. Woogie, woogie, woogie! Woogie, woogie, woogie! Okay, guys, stop. She's serious. I'm sorry, Orange. Are you really afraid of galump -a -lot? From that cute story I was just reading to the baby berrykins the other day? But they aren't afraid of it. Well, I am. <laughs> but galump -a -lots aren't real. They're just a silly story. But... but... Uh, how do you know galump -a -lots are just a story? Because... because... Uh, well... Uh, Blueberry? Well, it must be just a made-up story because I got it from the fiction section. You know, the make-believe section in my bookstore. But don't people who make up stories sometimes base them on real things? Well, yes, that is true. And it is a very old story. Can't call the author and ask. I told you! See? Maybe galumphalots aren't real, but how do you know for sure? How do you know they couldn't be out there? In the dark. <laughs> because, well, oh, come on. I've been in the dark lots of times and I've never ever seen one. But then we wouldn't see them. I mean, if they were real, it'd be hard to spot them in the dark because of the darkness. Not to mention, they could be really good at hiding out there. Outside, in the dark. Oh, come on, this is silly. <laughs> ah! One, two. <laughs> and bringing in the Big Banging Bolt Remover. Assemble this entire juice pipe junction and rebuild it from the ground up. Huh? Huh? You know, Mr. Longface, the Berrykins might be able to find a way to get the pipe open on their own. Without my leadership? But then, what will I do? I have another job that is very important. <gasps> you don't say. At your service, Miss Shortcake, how can I help? 
We need someone to tell everyone in Berry Bitty City that the Berrykins are working on the problem, and the power will be out for a bit longer. You are just the caterpillar to deliver the news. That I am. I'm on my way. Execute plan, juice pipe junction, double knot seven slash six one. There's the problem. What do you think the Galupfalot will do next? What if it's hungry for food? Food? Do you think it might... Do you think it likes food that, that tastes like... like... us? <gasps> I've never read anywhere that Galumphalots eat something like us. <laughs> but I've also never read that they wouldn't eat something like us! <laughs> <gasps> that sounds like it came from Orange's store! <gasps> the Galumphalot security trap I put outside my store! <gasps> I must have caught one! I'm sorry! What's falling on top of me? <laughs> oh, pardon me! Oh, I hope I didn't break anything! <laughs> Someone, please help me! Someone, did we catch it, Orange? Someone, did we? Did we? Did we? <gasps> it's getting closer! There's only one thing to do then! Run? No! We must defend the beauty salon! No Galumphalots allowed! No Galumphalots allowed! I once read a book about booby traps. Well, if a book can do it, so can we! What's first, Blueberry? Um, bucket of suds over the door. Everybody knows that one. Well, hopefully not a glump a lot. Let me handle it. I'm a pro at this. First, get one bucket of water. No! It's the only way. When the Galumphalot comes in, whammo! Okay, 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 What's next? We must find a way to get the Galumphalot off balance. Squeezy, squishy, bitty, beauty batter for plants! I slipped on some once and slid all the way over to strawberries! <laughs> Uh, careful where you step! Okay, the last thing we have to do is find a way to get rid of the Galumphalot once it's here. Aha! Uh -huh. What you got? A headache. I think I'm thinking too hard. Wait, I have it! Anyone have a hair elastic? I do! Right here! I got a couple. I got one. Hold on tight. Almost. Yeah, got it. Okay. Bring on the gum flight. Outside. Lemon. Are you in there? Oh, he knows my name! No! 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 No!
haven't come to help. They usually do when we have a power outage. I better go check on them. Bye! Bye! Yay! 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 Was a galumphalot and lemons. Oh, oh. thank you very much. Oh, it's good to know the lights are back on. What's this about a galumphalot? At Lemon Salon, the poor girls. I tried to save them, but I was completely galumphed. Oh. But Galumphalots aren't real. Yeah, yeah they're, they're not true. real. It's just a story. Ooh, ooh, this one most definitely was. <laughs> we must do something. Do you have a plan? No, no, no. This is a Galumphalot we're dealing with. <gasps> Much better. Uh, follow me. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Follow me, f f follow. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Oh no, the Galumphalot's coming back. And it sounds like he's bringing friends. And lots of them. There's only one thing we can do. We have to face him. Show him we're not scared, even though we are. <sighs> That's the spirit. On the count of three. One. Two on three, or after you say three. Oh, you know, I was wondering the same thing. Me too! I'd hate for you to run out on three, and I was left waiting here for you to say three. Maybe we could go out on four. Four's a good number. Yeah, yeah four. That's okay. a good idea. Okay. Four! <laughs> in your salon still out. The Berrykins fixed the juice pipe junction a while ago. The power's back on? Oh, Bitterberries, I had the light switch off. Sorry, girls. What is this all about? Uh, there was a galumphalot. And we booby-trapped it. But it came back. No, that was us. <clears throat> and, um, uh, me, I'm afraid. What got you thinking about galumphalots in the first place? Blueberry said she read a book that didn't say there weren't any galumphalots. Well, I only said that because the rest of you were sure there were galumphalots. But it's just a story. Woogie, woogie, woogie! It... it was me. Oh, ever since I heard that story, I started imagining what if there were galumphalots? And the story said they liked the dark, and I imagined some more, and, and well, soon I was booby trapping all around my store, and then lemons start too, and then... Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. You never know what's in the dark, and, and well, how could you see if the galumphalots were out there anyway? Because it is dark. Look around you, Orange. Now close your eyes. Are they closed tight? Now open them again and look around. Any galumphalots there? No. I always remind myself that there's nothing in the dark that isn't there in the light. You're right. And if you can imagine the galumphalot being scary, then you could probably do a good job imagining one funny, too. <laughs> You're right. We are all bigger than our fears, no matter how bitty we think we are at times. That's right! And Orange, you were the one who got your old courage back the end, even when we were all scared. I was? Oh, yeah. And you were the one that said, four. I was. And you were the one that fired the elastic trap. I was. You were always the bravest of us. I am. You're right, Strawberry. There is nothing in the dark that isn't there in the light. Not even galumphalots. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Woogie, woogie, woogie! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone inside for my special Style Under the Stars hair extravaganza! Sorry, accidentally hit the light switch. <laughs> Everyone listen up, hear my prop 
should do this tomorrow with the rest of the girls. Yeah. So peaceful, so quiet, so... Ah! <laughs> oh, huh? Rose! Oh, Orange, oh! what's wrong? Some, something touched my foot! An eel! A sea monster! Maybe just a water plant, huh? Kinda cute. Kinda? Aren't those the cutest, fattest, most adorable cheeks you've ever seen? Aw, hey little guy, hey sweetie. Hi there. Don't be scared, are you all by yourself? You're too little to be all alone. Oh, poor little guy. Oh, I'm sure he's fine and, uh, what are you doing? I'm taking him home, but someone's gotta take care of him. Poor little guy, all alone in the big world. Come here, little girl. Orange, wait, we... Come on, little. What? You can trust me. Yeah, I won't hurt you. Huh? Hey. Orange, listen for a sec, okay? I'm listening, I'm listening, but <laughs> he's going to get away. <laughs> hey, that I just asked that you consider something. He might be cute and little now, but he's going to grow. And then he might be harder to take care of. You are most <laughs> you are most likely right, Strawberry. But you always say, even though we're bitty, we're capable of big <laughs> things. <laughs> I mean, someone's got to take care of him. <laughs> hey, where is he? Look, you see? He wants to come home with me. I think I'll name you... Butch. Butch? He looks like a butch. He looks like trouble. Cute as he is. But it's up to you, Orange. Aw, oh, come on, Strawberry. Don't you trust me? Of course, but... Well, I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna take better care of this fish than any fish has ever been taken care of before. I'm going to feed you and read to you every night. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to read you my favorite stories. And I'll give you a beautiful home where you'll be safe and warm. Oh, I mean cool. <laughs> Just wait till you see. You're going to love it there. What's his name? Stuart. Isn't that the cutest name you ever heard for a fish? Stuart? Where is he, Orange? Oh, look! He's super cute! Hi, Lemon! Hello, Plum! Hi, Raspberry! Hi, Lemon! Oh, what a doll! Where's your fish? You can name him Fish! Or Mush! I Swish! His name is Todd. I thought it was Stuart. <laughs> Catchy and cute. And dignified to boot. And look what I taught him to do! Strawberry. I have one with pictures. Oh, I love the ones with pictures. Blueberry? Oh, hi, Strawberry. Uh, is seen Blueberry? I'm right here. Emergency. Todd sick. I, I need books on fish care, fish diseases, fish cures, fish medicine. Oh, no. What's wrong with him? List the symptoms, please. Well, he has growths. Ugh. 
God, I'm so sorry. Where did I go wrong? I've tried to give him everything a fish needs. I know you have. Everything a fish could want. I know you did. Everything a fish... He's not a fish. <gasps> He's a tadpole. A, a tadpole? What's that? A baby. Frog. <gasps> Todd is a fish! He's a frog. Todd's a frog? Well, he will be soon. He'll grow arms and legs and lose his tail. This process is called metamorphosis. So, um... So, at least he's not sick. But it might be best to take him back to the stream, huh? What? I, I can't do that. I, I promised to take care of him. But that's when you thought he was a fish. It's just that, well, isn't a frog more than you bargained for? I am not going to turn my back on him just because he switched species. He, Tad, can't help it if he's a frog. Okay, ready? And lift! <laughs> there, that's the front panel. Front panel of what, Raspberry? Oh, I didn't show you. You didn't see? Well, here, come here, come over here. <laughs> this is great. I know, I know, you don't have the words. Um, fabulous, maybe? Inspired, tremendous, cutting edge. <laughs> See, um, Orange appointed me fashion designer. I'm designing all the outfits for her and Tad. See, next week, she'll ride him in a dressage and jumping show with both of them sporting Raspberry's Frog Forward Fashions. <laughs> Orange says it'll be great publicity. You know, I'll probably, most likely, well, hopefully, well, maybe, you know, have, a, have my own pet apparel line in stores by next fall. Uh-huh. <laughs> are supposed to be washed or dressed up, maybe it would be best to let him go in the wild. Out there? All alone? Oh, no, 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 no. He, he's much better off with me. Uh, come on, Dad. Uh, thanks, Lemon. Uh, I'll bring him back tomorrow, okay? I'll have a talk with him. He'll be better behaved. Uh, I promise. Can't wait. What is that? I promise, it's not my stomach. We believe you. I have a feeling I know just what it might be. Oh no, Tad doing his night croaking. How can we do our night sleeping? Maybe the croaking is just a stage, and he'll grow out of it. That'll probably be the only thing he doesn't grow out of. Where's Orange? She turned in early. She was tired from chasing Tad around. Come on, girls. Let's think of a way to get him to go to sleep. Uh, hot milk. No, not that. Uh, a uh, blanket. No, never mind. Hmm. Oh, a, a lullaby? Uh, no. Wait, what was that? Uh, a lullaby? Sing a lullaby to a frog. I like it. Good idea. Yeah. Close your eyes, little frog. Time to please stop your croaking. Let 
pleasant dreams, little frog. Won't you finally go to sleep? Huh? Who? What? Is he? Shh, shh, shh. Let's go. Back in five minutes? It's been more like five hours. I wonder where she could be. Ugh, I need to get some light bulbs for my reading lamps. Still closed, huh? She was closed yesterday, too. I want to paint this beautiful tulip in the meadow, but I'm out of brushes. Well, I guess I'll just have to make a sculpture of the tulip instead. I wish you could sculpt me a light bulb. Make sure this end stays shallow enough for Dad to get out. I wouldn't want him to hurt himself having to hop too much. Orange! What are you doing? Building a swimming pool for Tad. Isn't it great? Orange, um, promise to let me use it to teach water ballet classes if I help dig. <gasps> <laughs> well, I gotta admit, Orange, you're sure giving him the best. Everything he needs. <laughs> Mrs. Drewberry came home and discovered the kittens had unraveled her yarn. Oh, excuse me. Strawberry's Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, my. Yes, right away, Princess Berrykin. I just turned around and see what I found? Our berry juice ruined! I'm very sorry, Princess. I'll talk to Orange. Thank you, Strawberry. And a graceful lift with the left arm. Uh. Please, everyone. This is water ballet, not wood chopping. <laughs> <laughs> and now, everyone, with grace and style, I'd like you to <gasps> look out! Yeah, I think. Uh-huh. Oh, Strawberry. Orange promised to let me use this pool, but every class gets interrupted by Tad. I'll talk to her. I promise. Oh, Strawberry! It's the very I mean, I can't tell you, it, it's... What is it, Raspberry? What's happened? I'm upset! I can see that you are. What upset you? It's all my work! My sewing and stitching and... Your frog forward fashions? Let me guess. Tad didn't like them. No! He loved them so much, he ate them! My goodness! And all Orange said was, he's just a frog. He didn't know what he was doing. That doesn't sound like the orange we know. No, it sounds like the orange who's got a pet that's become more important to her than, than manners. I'll talk to her. Strawberry! Orange, what's the matter? It's Tad! He's, he's gone! <laughs> Now, don't worry. Everyone's out looking. I'm sure the Berrykins will find him any minute now. He couldn't have gone very far. I did everything I could for him. I kept him cool when he was hot, warm when he was cold, bathed him, sheltered him, rented him. No frog has ever been so loved, and, and, and now he ran away. Huh? <laughs> Orange, I found your pet. 
sleep. I'll wake him up. <laughs> um, I don't think that's such a good idea. Hello? Wake up, Froggy! <laughs> Everyone knows you to be so kind and considerate. But I think maybe you've been trying to be so kind and considerate to Tad that you've forgotten about everyone else. But you guys are my friends. My very best friends. I could never forget you. What I mean is, Tad has caused a bit of trouble and... But he doesn't know any better. Exactly. I think being responsible for a pet means taking responsibility for any trouble he causes. Because the pet really doesn't know any better. I know. I need to do a better job of being responsible for Tad. I'm doing everything I can think of. I, I don't know what else to do. Well, maybe the best way to care for Tad is to not care for Tad. What do you mean? Orange? I just don't know if Tad belongs here. Oh, Strawberry, please give him, I mean me, another chance. I promise he'll never be any trouble to anyone in Berry Beauty City again. But how? You'll see. I'll, I'll train him. You said even though we're bitty, we're capable of big things. And I know I can do this. I won't turn my back on my responsibility to Tad. Well... Wow! I've never seen it so neat and tidy in here before. I wanted to do something nice to make it up to you for Tad eating the fashions. Thank you, Orange. Really? It's all mine? I promise Tad will never bother your classes again. Thank you, Orange. I'm hoping the Berrykins will accept some frog rights to make up for all the trouble we caused. Oh! Well... <laughs> Not having much fun, huh, big guy? Yeah. Oh, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Orange. I came to tell you everyone is so pleased about how you apologized for Tad's troubles. <laughs> Everything is back to normal in Berry Bitty City. Oh, that's good. I know it's been difficult, but I know if it meant doing the right thing for Tad, you could do something even more difficult. Of course! I'd do anything for Tad. What is it that's more difficult than all the things I've done so far? I mean, those were big things. What's bigger than that? Letting him go. Oh, Strawberry. Sometimes the very biggest things we have to do are the things we can't even see. Going to think I don't love him? Oh, I'm worried he'll never get over it. Oh, Tad, I know this is difficult. Try to be strong. <gasps> Happy too. How about 
a picnic. I think that is a very good idea. <laughs> <laughs> It was a dark and not so stormy night. Everything was quiet in the sleepy little town. No one knew it then, but strange things were about to happen. stormy day. Using my brilliant brain, I, Patty Persimmon, genius detective, tracked down the suspect. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Looking wonderful, wonderful. Uh, coming along beautifully. A glorious glimmerberry crop this season. <laughs> Oh, my goodness me! How could it? It couldn't! But it is! How peculiar! What a mystery! Raspberry, blueberry, orange blossom! It's time to get going! It's a very beautiful day for a swim! We don't want to miss a minute! What are we fighting for? Yes. <laughs> Whoa! Hold on! Where's Blueberry? Wherever she is, it isn't here. Come to think of it, she's been missing out on a lot lately. Yeah. I was supposed to have lunch with her yesterday, but she called and postponed it until next week. Same with her haircut appointment. She called and canceled. <laughs> Strawberry, raspberry, come in, come in! Okay, 
There's our nature hike tomorrow. I'll be there. You can count on me. It's just today, I'm so busy. Okay. Come on, Raspberry. Strawberry! Raspberry! Come quick, come see! Berry can bloom! What is it? Can't you tell us what's the matter? Oh, if I told you, you'd never believe me. Better you should see. With your own eyes. Oh, we'll see what? Uh. to that glimmerberry plant. It's caught a case of the rare, the unusual, the mysterious platyspotus. What is woozus? Platyspotus. It's a condition which causes the plants to turn plaid and polka dotted. Oh, is it bad? Oh, it's not good. And from a fashion sense, plaid and polka dots, awful. What causes it? That's a mystery. I recall reading somewhere it's a lack of a certain vitamin. But which one, I can't recall. Does it hurt the berries? Uh, not that I remember, but I don't know for sure. Oh, can, can you do anything? Hmm, well, maybe if I mixed up a batch of extra special vitamin plant food. Why, yes, that's it. Wonderful idea, off I go. Well, guess we'd better get to the pond if we want to go swimming today. Yeah, I guess. Let's make sure we have everything we need for the nature hike. Lunch, check. Binoculars, <laughs> check. Guidebooks, uncheck. Blueberry was supposed to bring them. She forgot to bring them? She forgot to bring herself. Oh, Blueberry. Hmm. Let's swing by and see what's keeping her. Blueberry, did you forget about our nature hike? Gun detecting. Wonder what that means. Blueberry, are you in there? Hello? You there! Blueberry? Detective Blueberry. How do I look? Like <laughs> Patty Persimmon. Thanks! What are you up to? Wait, don't tell me. Let me figure it out like Patty does. She really knows how to get into the mind of a criminal. Criminal? Mm-hmm. 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 Well, my keen powers of deduction tell me that you're... Going on a nature hike. How'd you guess? It was no guess. I asked myself, why would these girls have butterfly nets and binoculars? What a coincidence. We were just asking ourselves, why don't we have nature guidebooks? What nature guidebooks? The ones you were going to bring? Oops, I think they got boxed up to make room for all the new Patty Persimmon mysteries. Well, are you gonna join us for the hike? You might wanna change. Oh, girls, I'm sorry. I don't wanna hold you up. See, I really need to practice my detecting skills. We have muffins, your favorite, blueberry. You do? Oh, no thank you. I don't care for muffins. Huh? Huh? See you later. I'm off to solve another mystery. Uh, isn't it Patty Persimmon who doesn't like muffins? Not Blueberry. I mean, I like Patty Persimmon books too, but what happened to our friend Blueberry? <sighs> That's the real mystery. If you ask me, Blueberry's getting way carried away with those Patty Persimmon mysteries. I know. Let's try and find a really new and interesting plant specimen to bring back for her. Something to remind her of her other interests. <gasps> you mean, maybe something like that? What is it? Oh, no! It's called Platus Spotus, and it's spreading! Oh, indeed it is! My extra special vitamin and rich plant food didn't work! Does that mean all the plants could end up like this? I'm afraid that's true. I just don't know what to do. Oh, what if we cleared away the plants that are close so it couldn't spread? Uh, yes, yes, yes. This might work. <laughs> oh. Thanks, everyone. Break and blue.
Bloom says that should take care of the problem. Phew, that sure was a lot of work. And it would have been easier if we had some help from you know who. Yes, I know. Why don't we plan something fun for tomorrow? We deserve it for working so hard. Maybe a big picnic in the meadow. Sounds good. But right now, I need a nap. An all-night nap. <sighs> See you guys in the morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well. Blueberry? You there. I'm just about to solve the mystery of why these flowers would want to close up like this. Maybe they feel sad. Maybe they feel embarrassed. Uh, maybe because it's getting dark? And that's what flowers do at night? Aha! Uh -huh. It's because it's getting dark, and that's what flowers do at night. This mystery is solved! Hmm. If you're finished with this mystery, would you have time to solve another? Of course! Really? What is it? No, 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 wait, don't tell me. The mystery of the mysterious mystery. What could it be? Why would a mystery want to be mysterious? What kind of thing would Strawberry find mysterious? Oh, uh, why don't I give you a clue? <gasps> you there! Why do the plants look like this? That's the mystery. Something's making them turn plaid and polka dotted. But I'm sure you can find the answer in one of your books. No, 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 no. I'm going to solve this case the Patty Persimmon way. And she always begins by gathering clues. And then comes the fun part. Fun part? Yes. Getting into the mind of the criminal. Asking herself how a criminal thinks. Hmm. Why would plants want to be polka dot and plaid? Maybe they were bored. Uh... Aha! I know what's wrong with these plants. Someone has been painting them. Why would anybody do that? Exactly! That is what I'm going to find out. I'm going to wait for the criminal to return to the scene of the crime. They always do that, you know. I learned it from Patty Persimmon, genius detective. <sighs> I'll stay out here all night if I have to. Not a thing will escape my keen eye. And the other one, too. and polka dots now. Well, hey, maybe Blueberry solved the mystery. Where is she, anyway? She was around here somewhere. <gasps> hmm. uh, Blueberry? Yeah. Aha! You there! So it was you all along. And your criminal accomplice. This case is solved. So, what made you do it? Uh, do what? Paint plaids and spots on the berry plants. Uh, we didn't paint anything. Then what are you doing here in the middle of the night? We came to check on you, to make sure you were okay. Actually, it's morning now. Aha! I knew that. I just wanted to see if you knew that I knew. <laughs> you know? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mystery to solve. Somewhere out here is a master criminal, a fiend with no sense of fashion. Oh, no. What are we going to do about Blueberry? We never see her anymore. And even when she's here, she's not really here. She's pretending to be Patty Persimmon. Yeah, I think... I just may have an idea. Now, I'll need everybody's help. So, what do we think of the There's another mystery, Blueberry. One that has us all stumped. Well, I am still working on the spotted plaid plant mystery. But I think I can fit another one in. In the multiple mulberries mystery, Patty Persimmon juggled ten cases at the same time and solved them all. She's just so great. So, you there. What's the new mystery? Well, it's sort of a... a missing person case. Aha! 
why would a person go missing? As Patty Persimmon would say, time to get a clue or two. This missing person, they haven't been seen recently? You might say that. Aha! I knew it! Now, what is their favorite color? Favorite color? Uh... Blue! If it was Wednesday... It is Wednesday. Where might I find this person on a Wednesday? I mean, if they weren't missing. Uh, at the cafe? At book club. Say no more. Your missing person is as good as found. You're probably wondering why I called you here today. Because... Uh, we're having book club here today? Besides that, you, uh, figured out who's missing? Aha! Close! It's because I've almost figured out who's missing. Just a few more questions, and this case will be closed like a door slammed in a strong wind. My keen detective mind tells me the answers to those questions are in... this very room! What, uh, sorts of questions? What is this person's favorite food? That'd be muffins. Aha! Especially blueberry muffins. Aha! What about hobbies? Uh, uh well, um, uh, oh, she loves to read books. Aha! It's a girl! You said she! I've gathered the clues and I'm putting them together. She likes the color blue and has a suspicious fondness for blueberry muffins. She likes to read books and should be here at book club if she weren't missing. And the only person like that is... Yeah? Well, who is it? Come on, the suspense is too much. The only person like that is... Me. Oh, Wait, no. No. it's you already. You did it, Blueberry. You solved the mystery. So I'm the missing person? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, uh, guess I haven't been around so much lately, huh? And we've been missing you. Come quick, everyone, to the grove! Just look, look, look! Plan to spot us a spread to everything. That does not look good. It's as bad as a curse. And watch this, it gets worse. <laughs> What happened? Your glimmerberry sparkles didn't stick. Indeed. And if the sparkles do not stick, the glimmerberry could not be harvested. But if the glimmerberries can't be harvested, oh, there will be no power to run the town. There has to be something we can do. Whatever are we going to do? Maybe Blueberry can help us. Me? You could do some research with your books. I'm very sure you can find a way to stop the Platus Spotus. I can try. We need half a smidgen of this. Yes, yes, that's just what it says. And this book says we need a quarter pinch of this. Now, let me check my notes. Yes, it says it right there. Page 324. Indeed, it does. And finally, a little dash of this. There, that ought to do it. I hope this works. Give it a second.
have you back, Blueberry. It's great to be back. I guess I didn't make a good detective anyway. You made a very fine detective, but you make an even better friend. And that's no mystery. <laughs> You daisies look thirsty. You're growing incredibly fast. Hi, Blueberry. So, how does your garden grow? Most definitely the fastest growing flowers I've ever seen. Just planted the seeds this morning, and look, they've sprouted already. Wow, that is fast. Zippy grow dramatic daisies. From berry bitty seed to full-size flower in just a few days. Um. How big do you think they'll get? Approximately as tall as my store. Oh, almost forgot. The cookbook you ordered came this morning. Oh, terrific! Here you are. The Mighty Muffin Cookbook. Big recipes for bitty bakers. Oh, thank you, Blueberry. You're very welcome. There's a corn muffin recipe in here that I can't wait to try. I've heard it's really good, but it's more complicated than anything I've baked before. I read about the author, a very famous chef in Big Bitty City. I'm sure if you just follow his directions, you'll be just fine. <laughs> to 375. Check. Set timer for 25 minutes. Check. Huh? Oh, what's going on? <gasps> huh? Strawberry? What is it? I don't know. Something's wrong with the oven. <gasps> what was that? My muffin recipe? If those are muffins, I can't wait to see what happens when you bake a cake. Thanks for helping me clean up, everybody. When somebody in Berry Bitty City needs help, we all help. <gasps> you got it. Sure, no problem. Glad to help. That's what we do in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. And you're quite sure you followed the recipe? I think so. Well, the most likely explanation is that you must have made a mistake somewhere along the line. Seems like it. But I was sure I followed the directions. Well, I'll just have to try it again. And this time, I'll be super careful. Wow, no wonder they call you Zippy Grow. You're really getting big. Hmm, it's my observation that you look a little different from the picture. But you're so young yet. Who knows what you'll look like when you grow up? <gasps> oh no! Come on! What is it? Oh, no! Not again! Let's go! Uh, don't worry. This time I just put one bitty, and I mean very bitty muffin in the oven, instead of a whole pan. Time, all I have to clean is the oven. Okay, I got it. Just change its name to Muffin Surprise. Uh, <laughs> oh, <I don't> know. <laughs> muffin Explosion? Ha. Uh, Mega Muffin Explosion Supreme. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> hey, that is pretty funny. <laughs> this really doesn't make sense. I was extra careful to follow the directions, but the same thing happened. I checked off every step. Double check the oven's temperature. 
Triple check the timer? Huh. Maybe the recipe has a mistake in it. What do you think? I think that's highly unlikely. Something you did seems more probable to me. Too much flour, not enough water? I measured everything to the last drop. But, you know, sometimes the most unlikely possibility is possible. There might be a mistake in the cookbook. But how could that be? I don't know. But the only way to find out is to give it another try and pay extra super close attention to every step. And if it still doesn't work, well, then maybe this is one of those times when I'll have to use my own judgment, my own common sense, and my own taste buds and adjust the recipe. Don't worry, I'll solve this puzzle. Hmm, I like directions you can count on. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it's fun to improvise. Improvise? It means to make something out of what you have at the moment. Kind of like when things don't go as planned, go with what you have and make the best you can with it. I like it. Sounds like a good way to solve a puzzle. And speaking of puzzles, I've got one for you in my garden. Got a minute? Sure. Well, they're tall, all right. Even taller than the package said they were supposed to be. Are you sure they're daisies? Of course. It says so on the seed packet. Could they just look that way because they're still growing? Well, I'm not a plant expert. But you know who is. Uh, uh, oops, sorry, Blueberry. <laughs> no problem. Well, let's see. Uh, yes, it must be. <laughs> it's corn. Corn? Impossible. I planted daisy seeds. <gasps> Oh, thank you, Blueberry. You're welcome, Berry Can Bloom. But are you sure? Oh, yes. If you hadn't caught me. I mean, about the, you know, daisies. Daisies? Oh, no, 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 no. Corn. Oh, dear. What's the matter? You've never looked sadder. It must have been something I did to the daisy seeds. Too much water or too little water or too much sun or something. Uh, oh, my. You did everything right. Best crop of corn I've seen. That should be a natural with squash. Hmm. Oh, well, come on, everybody. Back to the berry works. <laughs> Nice corn! Ooh, that's what I call corn. Tallest I've ever seen! Boy, it is big! Hi, Berrykins! Hi, Hi strawberry. strawberry! Nice corn! So I've been told. Maybe we better dig it up and replant it somewhere else before it gets too big? They can't get bigger. They're daisies. They have to be. It says so on the package. Well, I just came over because I got a letter from the author of the Mighty Muffin Cookbook. I wrote to him. You did? Uh-huh. I said I couldn't get his recipe to work, so I improvised. I've made muffins before, and I don't remember ever using that much baking soda. I tried using less, and the muffins came out better. So I asked the author, could there be a mistake in his book? And what did he say? That he checked it out, and yes, there was a mistake. The recipe called for a cup full of baking soda, when it should have been a tablespoon. Wow, that's the last thing I would have imagined, for the cookbook to be wrong. I tried the muffins again with the right directions, and they came out perfectly. He says they're printing a new edition right away, with the mistake fixed, and he's sending me a signed copy. <laughs> that's wonderful, Strawberry. So, you never know. Maybe you did everything right, but the package was wrong. Here, I made a batch of muffins for you. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Listen, gotta run back. <laughs> I'm still baking. See you, Blueberry. No, 
know. The plants I'm trying to describe that are growing in my garden at this very minute do not look anything like daisies. Okay, now let me get this straight. You're saying long leaves. Long leaves. Kind of bent down and flopped over, sort of like cornstalk leaves. Exactly like cornstalk leaves. And you say long thing is that sort of look like ears of corn. No, they look exactly like ears of corn. I'm looking at a picture of a big stalk of corn. Right here in the official encyclopedia of flowers, farm foods, and... Well, I'm a daisy man myself, no expert on corn, except when I pop it. But watch out, when you're pity, that stalk pops with a bang. <laughs> <laughs> but here at Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for bitty gardens is our motto, we pretty much guess that what you have growing there is probably corn. But how is that possible when I planted your company's daisy seeds? Well, now, right there's the mystery. And I don't mind telling you, it's got us stumped. Oh! Oh, no! See, the plain fact is that here at Zippy Grow Daisies, we don't sell corn, no serene. But we're efficient, too. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. We've been experimenting with our own Zippy Grow Super Size Ever Pop Popcorn. Wow, what a bang when it pops. Goes off like a firecracker. As soon as we can figure out how to get the bang out of the pop, we're going to put it on the market. In the meantime, we think that's the answer to your mystery. It is? Yep. We figure some of our experimental Super Size Popcorn must have gotten to one of our official Daisy Seed packets. And you bought it. <gasps> Oh, no! Great so. <laughs> we all feel so sorry it happened. We're sending you a year's supply of Zippy Grow Daisy Seed Packets. Compliments of Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for pretty gardens is our motto. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate your help. Good night. <gasps> oh, no! I've called you all here is to see if we can put our heads together and figure out what we want to do with these. Well, since Blueberry says it's popcorn, I say let's pop it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh, it sounds good to me. All right, let's get popping. Okay, yeah, and have a popcorn party. I think that would be lovely. Oh, that's that's great. Great. I wish I had listened to you, Strawberry, when you said I should replant them somewhere else. Now look at all the trouble my garden has caused. I'm afraid a popcorn party with this popcorn would be ill-advised, meaning not a good idea. You see, the seed company hasn't figured out how to take the bang out of the pop, and I believe it would be too dangerous. Oh my, we are pretty bitty, and this corn pops very big! Yeah, oh, it's not a good idea. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's an idea. Um, we could dig up all the corn stalks and move them so no more grows here. Good idea. We'll start right away. And we better get all these ears of corn out of town before they ripen and drop their seeds and grow goodness knows how many more. Good point. Oh, I wonder how far we'll have to take them. I would estimate far enough away so when the seeds do grow, they don't threaten us again. Makes sense to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, strawberry, how can we move them? Oh, we're so bitty, and they're so <laughs> big. <sighs> Too bad we can't eat them. I have an idea. Orange, do you have any more rope in your store? Yes, I do. Why? <laughs> Okay, let's move about! enough away, I believe. Completely disappear. I mean, they're 
you're gone! Where are we? Down in some kind of cave. Hey, what's that? Smoke? No, it looks like steam. Probably some kind of underground hot spring. Hey! We're down here! can hear us. Come on, this is the direction they rolled. How long do you think it's been? Hours. But at least with the steam heat, we'll be warm. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, me too. I wish I had an idea how to get us out of this. Oh, I never read about this kind of thing in any of my books. We'll figure out a way. Improvise. What we need is a ladder. Too bad all we have is an ear of corn. Wait, what did you say? Improvise. That's it! Hey! An, an ear of corn ladder! Yeah! <laughs> The vent is making it too slippery. If only that steam vent would stop steaming. Now I'm really hungry. I wonder how raw popcorn tastes. Wait, why eat it raw? Because this place doesn't have a kitchen to cook it with. Use the steam vent. Heat the corn and make it pop. Then we could eat it. Good thinking, Strawberry. <laughs> They should be. It's like they just vanished into thin air. It doesn't make sense. Then uh, maybe we should look in all the places that, you know, uh, don't make sense. What, like the opposite direction from where we last saw them? Why not? Well, at least we'll have plenty to eat. We can always pop more corn. Popcorn. That's it. Let's pop all the corn and it will fill up this cavern and carry us to the top. Oh, Blueberry, that's a great idea! Life is sweet, life is sweet. 
Miss Orange. Oh, hi, Berry Can Bloom. Thank you so much for getting me this pogo stick. Very thoughtful of you. <gasps> Look what I can do now. Oh, it helps when you're busy. But do you ever get busy? Oh, no, it's fun. And I love the built-in hopometer. Jadybug, did a package come into the post office back there for Berry Can Bloom? It's definitely one of these. Oh, watch out! Oh! Oh. oh, here it is. Well, do you think it's the vacation brochure you've been waiting for? Uh, well, you see. You must be so excited. Finally going on a vacation. Well, actually, uh, I'm not going. You aren't? Well, I decided it was more important to buy these special berry seeds. So I can't afford a vacation just now. These new berry plants will really do great things for the berry works and everyone in Berry Bitty City. Oh, but Berry can bloom. You gave up your vacation last year to sit with my sick petunias. And the year before that to help bring in the berry harvest. <sighs> Maybe next year. Well, I'd better get these seeds into pots. Wait, don't you want to see the new issue of Berry Bitty World Traveler? Oh, I'll, uh... Take a look when I'm closer to taking the vacation. Works too hard, that bloom. Not good for a berrykin. Hi, Orange. I just saw Berrykin bloom, and he seemed not very happy. Fantastic! Well, not really. I'd say more sort of mm, sad. No, I mean, look! The magazine is holding a contest. Anyone who can break a Berry Bitty World record wins a vacation of their dreams. That's what'll cheer up Berry Can Bloom, a vacation. And I have an idea how to get him one. It's a very good idea, Orange. Good. Oh, it's great. Berry Can Bloom really deserves a vacation. But breaking a world record to get him one? What can we do that's world record worthy? Well, what are we all good at? You're an expert cook. Raspberry's an amazing fashion designer. <laughs> and Plum, you're such a talented dancer. <laughs> Thank you. We're all good at lots of things. So which one of us should try and break a record? Well, that's my other idea. If we all try to break a record, each of us doing something different, we'd have a better chance of one of us winning the contest. Oh, let's do it! Orange, you're in charge. Oh, uh, okay. The Berry Bitty World Record is twice as high as this souffle. Well, gotta keep trying. Shh, don't tell. Hello, Mr. Longface. Berry can bloom. Good day, Miss Shortcake. Good morning. Any specials today? Uh, why, yes. Strawberry souffle. Oh, sounds delicious. I'll have some too, please. <laughs> Coming right up. As I was saying, Mr. Bloom, I've been reading this fascinating history of strange sicknesses, bizarre ailments that anyone could catch. <gasps> My goodness, how catchy are these, um, things we could catch? Oh, very catchy. Sneak up on you without warning. I'm on a chapter now about a disease called Goofa Lupus Wackyitis. It causes people to do strange, funny-looking things, things they've never done before and that don't make any sense. Enjoy. Mm, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Blueberry, anything else I can help with before I leave for lunch? 
No, that's everything, Bosley Bookworm. Thank you. Well, see you after lunch then. See, see you, Bosley. Bosley. Hello, Berry Bitty World Traveler Magazine? I'm calling about your contest for the free vacation. Well, I just wanted to let you know that there are some very big records that are about to be broken over here in Berry Bitty City. But, but, how many? I'd say about six records. Oh, I don't know what they'll be. <laughs> just that they'll be big. Very big. You'll send an official contest, Judge? Friday? Perfect. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Well, it's all set. All set? But, Orange, I'm not sure we're prepared. Prepared? I've been stacking cans in my store for I don't know how long. I'm an expert, and that Judge is going to see a stack of canned goods like never before. Uh, okay, but, but what? Remember, you're in charge. What should we do? Oh, I guess I kind of jumped ahead. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'll make sure everyone has picked something to break a record with. Good idea. What are we gonna do? Maybe if I help you come up with something, it will help me come up with something. Oops. Oh, guess we're not going any higher. I can't stack them outside. They'll get dirty. I know! How's it coming along, Raspberry? <laughs> well, I'm trying to make the very biggest dress ever. <laughs> I tried to make the smallest dress ever, but I couldn't see that small to make those silly stitches. Looking good. Keep at it. The contest judge is coming Friday. Oh, what? Looking good. Ah! Sorry, Lemon. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, it's okay. It wasn't really record-breaking anyway. <sighs> I tried everything I can think of, even painting toenails faster than anyone did before. Ooh, how'd that work out? Oh. Well, think quick. You've got until the day after tomorrow. That's when the judge gets here. <gasps> oh. uh, Meriba Ernold shoot slipper? Oh, what? Ugh. The record for reading stuff upside down is safe. I simply cannot stand on my head for that long. I'm sorry. Good try, though. Having fun? You try and dance while walking on your hands. Hmm? Show me. Uh, I don't think I can. I've been practicing for hours. But, okay, for you. That is incredible. Sick. Sick. Oh, no. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they. Top the to get could they only if. Oh, that time was slower than the last. I'm not sure that breaking the record for reading backward is what I'm best at. Come on. We may be bitty, but I know we can do big things. Okay. <sighs> Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they top the to get, could they only if. Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they top the to get, could they only if. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> what? Oh, my hair! Um, I'm having a problem with the dyes. Can I help you with something, Barry Kim Bloom? Uh, I was worried about. Uh... <laughs> oh, bitter berries. <laughs> Plum? <laughs> what are you uh, worried about? Well, uh, she. Uh, I mean, uh, that is, uh, Miss Lemon. Don't you think she's acting a bit. Strangely? No. But... Oh, well, you know, she just really loves to exercise. Oh. Oh, well, if that's all it is. 
Would you like a mineral salt foot soak? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I think I'd better get this plant into the ground. Well, uh, see you soon. I mean, around. Okay, bye. Ugh, foot soak. Good one, Lemon. Nothing I try seems good enough. In a record-breaking way, I mean. Not to mention, Barry Kim Bloom is getting suspicious. Which he wouldn't have if you hadn't been practicing your record breaking in broad daylight. Where else can I practice? My studio's too small. Girls, please, let's not pick her. Who said that? She did. Why do we have to meet like this anyway? Because Barry Kim Bloom is out there tonight checking his night blooming jasmines. I think my big dress is just silly. The judge is gonna laugh at me. Guys, guys, where's our can do spirit? Orange is the only one who has can do spirit. Stacking can do spirit, that is. Ha ha ha. That's good, because the person in charge should have can do spirit. Being in charge is harder than I thought. Oh, come on, girls. You must be able to think of something, but not for me. Remember, this is for Barry Kin Bloom. Hey! <laughs> oh, dear. Wait, Orange, your can stacking. It gives me an idea. What? Maybe we need to share ideas instead of doing it all alone. Maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit. <laughs> the highest fruit tower in Very Bitty World. Yeah, and after you win, we can eat it. You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest highest souffle idea gives me an idea too. Maybe I'll try a poofiest highest hairdo. Oh boy, that's terrific. Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it. What about a dress with the most stitches? I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry. I'm using it. And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and uh, backwards and, well, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Raspberry. See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've got it! All our worries are over! Skipping backwards, eh? Yes, and this orange has been taking her merchandise and stacking it outside. Ooh, a classic case of goofalupus wackyitis. <laughs> Thank goodness you brought this to my attention. There's no time to lose. Oh, dear. Uh, but are you sure that we need to bring the doctor? Very sure. <laughs> Okay, time to take charge. Today's the day. You ready? Wow, you look like the world's biggest souffle. Is that good? No, that's great. Orange. Oh, hi, Bosley Bookworm. Are you off and running? Uh, Poe going? Well, yes. I'll let you hop to it then. See you later. A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way! The wise old owl lived in an oak the more he saw, the less he spoke! <laughs> it's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh, my. Hmm, I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrikin. No telling how far this is going to spread. <laughs> 
very sad. What can be done? I'd better see the other patients. The judge is around the corner. Oh, keep poofing. Miss <clears throat> Barang, are you in there? Miss Meringue, she has other girls she needs to see. You're right. It wouldn't be fair. I've never seen anything like this. Hi. Well, what do you think? I think you better stop, Miss Plum. Oh, well. I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. Now, now, it's best not to exert yourself, my dear. Oh, no. You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh. Oops. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry is doing. Yes, I'm sure we will. <laughs> I'm afraid this is beyond medical science. It is worse than you described. I'm going to call in more doctors. There's no telling how far this could spread. Oh. Take cover! No, 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 no. Oh, oh, too late. You didn't get to take a measurement. I'm going to take your temperature. I've never seen anything so severe in all my days as a doctor. Doctor? Dr. Hazelnut Bee. Now, stick out your tongue, say, ah, uh, and tell uh. me, why have you been stacking fruit? To break a world record so we can win the contest. <sighs> she believes she's in a contest. But, but we are in a contest, all of us. Aren't you the judge? I'm the doctor. Mr. Longface called me in to help you because you are all sick. But we're not sick. Now, girls, you can't deny your strange behavior. Hopping and twirling. And stacking cans and cartwheeling and... We were trying to help Orange win a vacation for you. A vacation? For me? If we break a very bitty world record, we'll win a free vacation from the travel magazine. And we... we're going to give it to you. Oh, oh dear. That's the most wonderful... I can't believe it. But we failed. I don't think we failed. Orange, you really took charge and inspired us to do much better. <laughs> Higher, bigger, faster than we all imagined we could. Even if none of us broke a world record. Uh, but one of you did break a world record. We did? How do you know? I am the contest judge from the magazine. You? Bosley Bookworm? Yes, they have representatives all over. My. It is hard keeping up with you girls. My stack of cans? <gasps> is that how we broke the record? No, your pogo stick bounces. I have been counting them since I saw you on it a while ago. And look, your hopometer confirms it. You've had ten more continuous bounces than the old record holder. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, Barry Kinbloom. The girls have won you a dream vacation to anywhere in the world. I don't know what to say. I'm just so relieved they don't have a goofaloop. A, what was it? Goofaloopus wackyitis. It's all right here in my medical book. Goofa what? Oh, Mr. Longface, this isn't a medical book, it's a joke book. It is? Yes, it's just a comedy book full of silly made up maladies. My goodness, uh, I, I'm very sorry. I guess uh, <laughs> the joke's on me. Don't worry, Mr. Longface, it all worked out. Now that my tower of fruit is on the ground, who wants to come in the cafe and celebrate Fairy Kin Bloom's vacation with a big helping of <laughs> Strawberry Souffle? Oh. 
careful, Pupcake. More apple cider, anyone? Ooh, yes, please, Strawberry. What's your secret? It's so good. Easy, Plum. You just warm up some apple cider with a little orange rind. Mmm, orange. My favorite. A tiny smidgen of lemon juice. Mmm, <laughs> my favorite. A bit of cinnamon and my secret ingredient. What's that? Warm wishes. I imagine my friends enjoying it, and somehow it just comes out better. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, uh, maybe if we drink enough, it will really feel like winter. Well, it's certainly cold enough, but some snow would be nice. I want snow so badly, I sometimes think I can hear it coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing! Yeah! Yeah! And best of all, the Glimmerberry Ball. Oh, I can't wait to start decorating for it. The food table will go here, and the streamers across there, and we'll put chairs along that wall. Plum, I'm starting to think we won't be able to hold the Glimmerberry Ball in the cafe this year. Why not? Hot cider coming right up. Excuse me, coming through. Because Berry Bitty City isn't so bitty anymore. That's right. The town has grown since last winter. There just won't be room. If not here, then where? I've got it. We'll split up and hunt for a bigger place. We'll all look hither and yon. Hither and yon? Here and there. Ah, great. An adventure in the snow. Oh, good idea. Fun. for the ball? No. Oh, me neither. Oh, uh, well, I found a nice flat tree stump. There's lots of room, but no shelter from the cold. Oh, we might freeze or catch colds or even just uh, shiver a lot. Well, we're definitely not giving up. After you get warm, we'll go looking again. I'll come with you. You guys, I found the perfect place. Come on. So? What do you think? It's perfect for the ball, right? Uh, I don't know, Plum. If someone fell off those branches, they'd hurt themselves. And where would we put the tables? <laughs> no, no. Down here. Oh. Warm, spacious, and inviting. I call it perfect. Congratulations, Plum. Good for you. Good job. I did it. Yay for Plum. I knew you would. Plum, since you did such a wonderful job of finding the perfect spot, would you mind being in charge of the party preparations? Oh, I'd love to. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll bring the dishes, cups, napkins, and tablecloths. Uh, Strawberry, can you take care of the party snacks? <laughs> of course. Okay, raspberry and orange. Would you help decorate? Fun. <laughs> Ooh, yay. What do you think of crepe paper streamers draped tastefully across the ceiling? Draped crepe? You got it. Blueberry, lemon. Can you please round up as many glow bugs as you can to light the hall? Of course. We're on it. Raspberry and I will get started, too. And I definitely better get started if we want to put this all together in two days. Thank you, everybody. <sighs> I'm gonna make this the best Glimmerberry Ball Berry Bitty City has ever had. Very nice, girls. Oh, it looks great. And the best part? We're a full day ahead of schedule. Oh, which means I have time tomorrow to sew up some fancy tablecloths. And I have time to pick up some great music. <laughs> <laughs> the ball is going to be so much fun. True, but there's still plenty of work to do tomorrow. 
let's get some rest, and I'll see you here bright and early. <gasps> what in the world happened? The snacks are all gone. And the glow bugs flew away. Oh, and our streamers and tablecloths are all torn up. If this is a prank, it's not funny. Who could have done such a thing? I don't know, but this is really cozy. Oh, I could take a nap in here. This is no time for a nap. We have to start over. All that work we did. It'll be okay, Plum. We still have a whole day to put everything back in order. Sure. And I'll go round up some more glow bugs. What I want to know is who would do something so... so... mean. Well, nobody in Berry Bitty City. Exactly. So it must be an outsider. And I'm gonna find out who. And they will answer to the Rat of Plum. <laughs> Oh, now you don't like cranberries. Cupcake? <laughs> Watch out! Oh, how can I make cranberry cookies with you in the way? I told you I have a bunch of baking to do. <laughs> oh, come on, you silly puppy. We'll have playtime another time. Huh? <laughs> Strawberries Cafe, hoping you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, hi, Plum. What? Uh-huh. You're all going to stay in the tree tonight? It's the only way to make sure nobody messes up the party stuff again. It sounds like a fun sleepover. Maybe I can join you later. I just have to make one more batch of snacks. Oh, hold on. Pupcake, go fetch. Bring me that oven mitt, okay, boy? It's the cranberry cookies, Blueberry's winter favorite. Oh, it makes me so happy imagining how much she'll enjoy them. Pupcake! Pupcake, no! <sighs> Plum? Looks like I'm not going to be able to join you after all. Why? Let's just say it was something out of my control. Good luck! And have fun. See you in the morning. Bye. Goodness, what's gotten into you, silly puppy? <coughs> what? <coughs> oh, you think the cranberry is your ball. No wonder. You thought I was going to cook your favorite ball. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't understand. Come on, let's look for your ball. Now maybe you'll let me finish my cranberry cookies. Oh, and everything else. Do you think we'll catch whoever it is? Oh, they'll be back all right. And I'm ready for them. Hey! That's really bright, you know. Oh, sorry. I just want to be ready when the intruders show up. Plum? They won't come in here if it's too bright. Oh. Right. How much longer do you think we'll have to wait? This floor is really hard. Yeah, not exactly a feather bed. Hey, I know. How about we bring that big pile of shredded crepe paper back in here? Oh, it was a really cozy bed. Good idea. Uh, I don't know, girls. We're trying to keep the place nice and neat. Don't worry, Plum. We'll just sweep it out again in the morning. Cozy. Uh, really comfortable. But we have to stay alert. No problemo. Oh, no. We'll stay alert for you. Honestly, Plum, I don't think these troublemakers are coming back. <gasps> what was that? The wind? A falling acorn? Uh, a really big snowflake? <gasps> Ready? One, two, three! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's just a cup. 
couple of cute chipmunks. Cute on the outside, but meddling on the inside. I will not allow these intruders to ruin our ball. Hey, get out of here! <laughs> That's right, you better scram. This is our place. Yay, we did it. <sighs> now can we go home? Yes, but first a little precaution. <laughs> keep those pranksters out. Now we can trade that trash pile for some real bets. Tomorrow is a big day. The Glitterberry Ball! Oh, I'm so super excited to see everyone in their beautiful new ball gowns. They are splendid spectacular. And I've got all new steps planned out for the dance. And let's hear it for the terrific food we're going to eat tonight! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. And let's hear it for Plum for organizing all the preparations. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm just happy that everyone in town will have a delightful Glimmerberry Ball tonight. Yes, the hall looks fabulous. You've got to see it, Strawberry. Oh, I can't wait. I'll meet you down there when I'm done packing. Okay, see you soon. <gasps> Somebody's been nibbling our snacks. Somebody chased away our glow bugs. And somebody's been sleeping in our streamers. <gasps> and they're still here. <laughs> so, trying to wreck our party, huh? with plum pudding. Let's see them try to get back into our Glimmerberry Ballroom now. What's going on in there? Oh, great 
punks have kept wrecking our decorations. And now they've stolen our ball gowns, just to spite us. Chipmunks? Oh, that's very strange. They're usually timid little guys. There must be some reason they turned into troublemakers. Oh, they did this? Have you ever heard of anything so mean? Shredding our decorations. We found them sleeping in these scraps. They aren't the only ones. Raspberry kind of likes sleeping in them, too. <laughs> well, they are pretty cozy. Yes, they are. Oh, that's the answer. What's the answer, Strawberry? The chipmunks aren't the intruders. We are. Us? Uh-huh. They chose this place to have somewhere warm to sleep during the winter. And they probably found it before Plum did. But why do they have to take it out on our Glimmerberry Ball? Hmm. Yesterday, I couldn't understand why Pupcake kept barking at me when I was making the cranberry relish. But when I finally stopped to see his point of view, I realized he thought a cranberry was his red ball, and he thought I wanted to play fetch. So? So? Look at this tree from the chipmunk's point of view. What looks like stealing food is actually their way of staying fed during their winter sleep. So what looks like a pile of scraps to us is really a bed to them? That's right, Raspberry. So all this time, we've been kicking them out of their home? I'm afraid so, Plum. <sighs> now I feel terrible. <sighs> Come on, girls. We better take all our stuff back home. But then, where will we hold our Glimmerberry Ball? I think I may have an idea. What if we just ask the guys? Hey, little guys. Can we talk to you for a minute? That's it. We won't hurt you. I'm really sorry we tried to take over your winter home. We'd like to change our Glimmerberry Ball into a hibernation ball. Would that be okay with you? Everyone will bring donations to our dance tonight, and you'll have plenty of food for the long winter. Where are they going now? chipmunks a lot more than just throwing our usual glimmerberry ball. Me too. It made it much more special. It's like Strawberry's secret cider ingredient. Warm wishes? Yes. The party was special because I kept imagining how much the chipmunks are going to enjoy their nice home and all the snacks for their hibernation. So do you think they enjoyed the party? <laughs> I think that says it all.
pardon me. I didn't mean to interrupt. Hi, J.D. Buck. No problem. Just rehearsing for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Can I get you something? I was just wondering if I could bother you for a, um, cup of tea? Of course. Have a seat, wherever you'd like. What kind of tea are you in the mood for? <sighs> oh, something warm and comforting. Lemon or mint? Oh, dear. Oh, my. I can't decide. What do you think? Chamomile. May I ask, you seem a little jumpy. Is anything wrong? I'm nervous. It's my cousins. Sadie Bug and Katie Bug? They just left a message on my phone that they're coming to visit for a whole week. And I'm gonna have to tell them they can't. Why not? My um, guest room, it's being repainted. Oh, they'll be so disappointed beside themselves. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna tell them. Oh my. Well, what if they stay with me here at the cafe? Oh, they put you through much too much trouble. I'd be thrilled to have house guests. It'd be fun. Are you sure? Really? I'm very sure. I have a book with tips on hostessing. Somewhere up here. Good. I want ideas on how to make them feel really welcome and special. We could make them gift bags. Oh, yeah, like little travel or, uh, oh, you know, um, overnight kits. Oh, I could even sew them. Here it is. Thanks, Blueberry. I could put a toothbrush, toothpaste, and pretty hat soaps inside. Wow, that would be very nice, Orange. The very best hostess. Take the guesswork out of having guests. At home, away from home. The first rule of being a hostess is making your guests feel comfortable. Comfortable? Oh, what else does it say? Um... A good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests, never embarrass them by pointing out that their ways of doing things are different from yours. So, if they sleep upside down, don't say anything? <laughs> Guess so. <laughs> their arrival should be a celebration. We could throw a tea party in their honor. Oh, we can have it in the cafe. I'll make a welcome banner. I'll help you. Thanks, Lemon. Watch out, your guests will love it so much, next thing you know, you'll have to open a hotel. <laughs> Goodness, all this for my cousins? Isn't it gonna be fun? Oh, but Strawberry, you've gone to so much trouble. You all have. Oh, me. Oh, my. You even embroidered their gift bags. But that's what being a good hostess is all about, J.D. Bug. I'm enjoying this, really. But you don't even know if they'll end up staying very long. I thought they were staying for a week. Oh, yes, but <laughs> you never know what will happen. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Katie Bug, Sadie Bug, it's uh, been too long. Likewise. What to eat? Oh, uh, I. Welcome to Very Bitty City. It's so nice to see you. Everyone, this is Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. Hi, I'm nice nice to meet you. you. You'll be staying with me at my cafe. Can I help you with your bags? Sure. Knock yourself out. During the day, I'm sure you'll be visiting with your cousin, but after the cafe closes, I have a place fixed up for you upstairs. <laughs> Why would we visit J.D. Bug when we can hang out where the food is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you're just joking, right? Your cousins sure are kidders, J.D. Bug. <laughs> yeah, kidders. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, what did you get? Hey, I want that. Not fair. Let me see yours. Yours is better. It is not. Is too. Hey, that's my favorite color. It's not. Yeah, huh? It's so. What? No straw? I beg your pardon? <laughs> A straw? That's wacky. Oh, 
Oh, my. <laughs> Give me. That's mine. But it's mine. No. Finders keepers. Oh, girls. <laughs> we don't use straws in a teacup. <laughs> Remember, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. That's a quirk, or just bad manners. Bad manners, I'm afraid. My cousins are the worst of the worst. <laughs> oh, Sadie Bug! Uh, Katie Bug! <laughs> Goodness! Well, at least they seem comfortable. I think. I guess this is just their way. Oh, Strawberry, I am so sorry. I don't think you're going to be able to tolerate their ways for very long. No, no, J.D. Bug. I volunteered to host them, and that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Strawberry! How's everything going with the twins? The great stuff! I brought you a treat. Ooh, come here! Look at this! <laughs> Girl, <coughs> let's not use up all of <coughs> Orange's perfume! <coughs> Yum! Mmm, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Well, I'm off to deliver the rest of these. See you later. Thanks again. You're welcome. Girls? <gasps> Hi, girls. How's the dance number coming? Almost ready for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Oh, 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 uh, we can dance. Watch. We're really good. Huh? <laughs> they should do a comedy routine at your cabaret. Please! <laughs> Don't encourage them. So, how's it going, being the perfect hostess? Uh... Well... Oh, boy! You must be having a great time! Uh-huh. They must love the guest room the way you fixed it up for them. Well, they like my bedroom better. You gave them your bedroom? Uh, they sort of took it. But it's nice for me <laughs> to have a chance to sleep in the guest room. Huh? Uh-huh. Too bad there's not a book called How to Be the Very Best Guests. <gasps> <laughs> Those are my cooking utensils. Please don't put them in the dirt. Aw, come on. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, we want to be sculptors. We're making art. <laughs> If you'd like something to eat, I'll fix it for you. But I'm going to have to ask you not to eat out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Please. Uh, this is a cafe. Like, where people eat stuff. Mm. And mm. that's what we're doing. Uh -huh. better in you. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh, girls, I really need to practice for Cafe Cabaret. It's an evening of entertainment I host in the cafe. It's in a couple of days. Oh, we'll help you. Testing. <sighs> uh, how do you turn this thing on? <laughs> Ooh, we are live. Hit it, Sadie Bug. Very best friends forever. <laughs> 
before cabaret night, do we? Oh. She's totally got a point. Okay, from the top. <laughs> oh, Mr. Longface, how are you? Uh, could I have a word, Miss Shortcake? Outside. Of course. So, what did you do with My guests aren't disturbing you, are they? Well, uh, I really came to see how you were holding up. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mr. Longface. Well, I was thinking you could probably do with a break from hostessing. Why not let me watch the cafe for the rest of the day and you take a breather at the pond or anywhere far away from here and then? Oh, I couldn't. After all, they are my guests. You could. I insist. Mr. Longface, I don't know how I can thank you enough. <laughs> You'd better go now, while they're occupied. I'll keep them entertained. Oh. Oh. Good luck. The fragrance of the blooming flowers was carried by a warm, gentle breeze to the snout of the little rabbit, who knew at last spring had arrived. There was only one thing that kept the little rabbit from enjoying the calm peace of the meadow. I'm sorry, Custard. Pupcake. We'll finish the story later. I can't relax. I have a strange feeling that all is not right back at the cafe. I just feel like I'd better check on Mr. Longface and... and... those twins. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Shortcake. I tried to stop them, but they're, they're unstoppable. They buttered the floor. <laughs> buttered the floor? Why would a person butter a floor? <laughs> The cafe is closed. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll come back later and help you clean up. We got a little carried away. Uh. Oh, a little help here. Strawberries Cafe. Hope you're having a very nice day. Oh, hello, Princess Berrykin. Yes, they're cleaning everything up, doing a very good job. I can't believe those two left the juice taps running. I'll talk to you later, Princess. I came to help. Thank you, Blueberry. Strawberry, it's time you sent them packing. Who? You know who. Those house pests. How can I kick someone out that I invited? I mean, are they really that bad? I know you don't want to say anything bad about your guests, but sometimes it helps to confide in a friend. You know, let off some steam. <sighs> you know, you're right. I should confide in someone. So you see, girls, I do want you to stay here, and I want you to feel comfortable, but I want to feel comfortable too. Huh? Oh, <laughs> girls. 
Are you listening? So, I need you to be more considerate to me and to the customers. And I can help you with your manners, if you'll agree to listen. Listen? I've heard enough. So have I. Oh, have you ever heard such rudeness in your life? Huh? We can tell when we aren't wanted. Well, I don't know how staying with me would work. See, I just moved all my new clocks into the guest room. It's my clock winding room. Sorry. Oh, well, um, you could sleep on my floor. That is, uh, oh, if you know, uh, I didn't have all my dress patterns laid out just now. Huh. Oh, I'm really sorry. All my cousins are visiting right now. There's, uh, hundreds of them. I'm just, uh, full up. Uh, I'm leaving for vacation. Tonight. Uh, right, right now. Um, oh, we could house it. Oh, no. I mean, you see, the floor just got polished. I can't walk on it. <laughs> Very pity city is so rude. Yeah, rude like those people in Gladiola Glen. And the folks in Mellonville. Rude, rude, rude. Oh, people seem so friendly at first. Then they're always turning on us. I just don't get it. Hello. How's about putting us up for the night? <sighs> I'm afraid I can't. Why not? The truth is, I don't like the way you treated your last hostess. My friend Strawberry? Oh! <gasps> Neither do we. Okay. <laughs> We're so sorry, Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. We should have told you the truth. We made up excuses so we wouldn't have to host you. And that wasn't right. You mean, none of you like us? We like you, but we don't think you've used good manners as house guests. You can be funny, but you aren't very considerate. Hey! I figured it out. Don't feel badly, Strawberry. Everywhere else the twins have stayed, they've been kicked out by... by... Why, you are the first host who didn't kick them out. <laughs> it's true. We got something to say. Oops. Oh, <laughs> I mean, um, may we come in? Well, sure. Please do. <clears throat> okay. We'd like to say we're sorry. We thought everyone else was rude, but now we see it was always us. Yeah, you were like the perfect hostess. And you were the first person to be honest with us. And we were totally awful. Uh-huh, icky. Really, ew. Will you still teach us how to have good manners? Uh-huh, and be nice house guests? I never thought I'd see the day. I'll make you a deal. I'll teach you good manners. <laughs> If you also let me teach you how to sing. Oh, deal. But good luck teaching us to sing. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty awful. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs>
applesauce. Mmm, too lumpy. Needs more mashing. Anyone want a taste? In a second, Strawberry. I've got one more bow to curl. Oh. Anyone here good at uncurling? I would if I could, but I'm wrapped tight myself. This is going to be the best first frost ever. Just wait until I wrap my gift in this. Oh, excuse me, girls. I don't wish to intrude on your get-together. You mean gift together? <laughs> <laughs> don't go, Mr. Longface. Come on in. We're just finishing up making our wrapping paper. And I need to mash the applesauce some more. Oh, if only I had a good masher. Would you like a taste, Mr. Longface? Oh, no, thank you, Miss Shortcake. I don't care for applesauce, sorry to say. Uh, just some tea, please. Here you go. Thank you very much. Ah, perfect. I noticed that the whole town seems to be gearing up for something special today. Do you know what that would be? He doesn't know. It's First Frost. First Frost? Never heard of it. Is that like Second Helpings? Oh, Muffin Crumbs, I forgot! You haven't been in Berry Bitty City long enough to know what First Frost is. Wow! It's his first First Frost! <laughs> Why, it's just the biggest day ever! Actually, astronomically speaking, it's one of the smallest days, in that it's one of the shortest days due to the sun rising late and setting early. Uh, being winter and all. <sighs> As you were saying, when winter comes, there's a huge special glimmerberry harvest. Everyone carves berry lanterns. And we have a glimmerberry ball. It signifies the first sign of winter time of year. It's tradition. And you give presents. <laughs> oh, no. That's just a fun little custom we girls have. The Berrykins and the Bumblebees and everyone have first for us traditions. Giving presents is ours. Secret presents. We each pick a name of one another and then we secretly give a gift to that person. Without them seeing which of us gave it. Last year, I got a new yellow and pink comforter. And I got a mile-long scarf with sparkles. Leg warmers for dancing on cold days. A beautiful chest set with multiple modeling clay pieces. A retractable step ladder. Oh, Can't wait. Yeah. Well, get this yeah. me too. Well, that sounds w wonderful. I think Mr. Longface might be feeling left out. Let's invite him to be part of our secret gifting. That's so yeah. sweet. Yes, yeah. let's. Mr. Longface. Would you like to join our gift-giving tradition? Oh, my. I really don't think... Well, you needn't... Please say yes, Mr. Longface. We'd love it if you were part of our little tradition. Well, then, I'd be honored. Yay! <laughs> Great. But could I ask a favor? May we borrow your hat? My... my hat? Okay. Everyone drop your name into the hat. You too, Mr. Longface. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> around and around, our names all go. Who gets whose is a secret that no one may know. Oh, I wonder who I got. Me too. Me three. And now for you, Mr. Longface. <laughs> Lemon! Oh, she's going to love this! 1,001 ways to keep your books organized. <laughs> this is going to be the best first frost gift ever. A whole chapter on how to stack books vertically. Ten chapters on how to reorganize your books after they've fallen off a shelf. No, no, no. I have to give this gift to Lemon. It's her gift. Don't let anyone see you. Don't let anyone see you. So, I was thinking maybe <gasps> the green stripe would look better. Shh! Did you hear something? Uh, no. Oh, I thought I heard something. 
on one shelf? Not as impossible as it seems? Oh, what am I gonna do with this? But it is the biggest first frost gift ever. I got it! This is the perfect secret gift for my secret gifty. Plum! <laughs> She's gonna... <laughs> So, you know, I just thought and thought about what to give my secret gift D, Mr. Longface. Something he would really, really like. <laughs> Thanks, Pupcake. And then it hit me, a plant for the entrance to his croquet club. And I know just the perfect plant. Oh, oops, I almost forgot my rope. <laughs> wow! That's the most ginormous first frost gift I've ever seen! I knew that was a good choice for Plum! Oh, nice! A book! Chapter 137, Sorting Your Encyclopedias. The A to Z of how to and how not to. Hmm... Maybe not exactly the most must-have gift I've ever received for First Frost. I know! My secret gift, the Orange, likes to sort things. I bet she'd love this! <gasps> oh, yes, yes. Indeed, yes. It is getting chilly these days, Miss Jadybug. Uh, you know, I have an extra hat you could borrow. Very warm. <laughs> <laughs> hello? Well, hello! <laughs> Aren't you the most wonderfully oversized first frost gift? Grab and move. Grab and move. Here it is. Mr. Longface will be thrilled when he sees his gift. And I'm going to get it for him. Ugh, no matter what. Ta-da! Raspberry will love a gift uh, this big. She could use it as a footstool when she sews. Or to hide a refrigerator. I did it! Oh, Mr. Longface is gonna love you, little plant. Huh? 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 Phew! Oh, muffin crumbs. Ooh, hibiscus always makes my nose itch. Okay, let her down. <laughs> Blueberry is going to flip over getting such a great big book. She loves books. Oh, hey, thanks, guys. I wonder who that could be. Hello? Is anybody out there? Wow! That's the most incredibly gigantic, enormously splendiferous first frost gift I've ever seen! <sighs> Just what I always wanted! Oh, look at this! And this! Oh, crap! 
cross-referencing my data printing. Who would have thought of that? Wait a second. This is the book I gave to Lemon. Didn't she like it? And how did it get back to me? I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Secret gift or no secret gift. So, Lemon, um, how about this first frost, huh? It was as first frosty as a first frost can be, I thought. Very firsty, as a matter of fact. And our presents. Oh, I've already given, yes I did. First frost thing in the morning, actually. Really? Wow. Well, um, not me. I haven't given my secret gift yet. So you couldn't be my secret giftie, so you can tell me what you got because I didn't give it to you. <laughs> right? What? I said... What? I said that I got a very big gift, but it wasn't quite right for me, and it was too big to store in the slot, so I gave it to Plum, who has more space in her studio! Plum! Aha! Oh, oh, where are you going? Uh, you haven't been rinsed! Very good! And one, two, three, one, two, three, twirl, two, three, twirl, two, three. So, two, three, um, two, three. Did you get your secret gift, two, three? Well, two, three. Really? Two, three. I don't have it anymore. Two, three. One, two, three. What? Two, three. I kind of felt my gifty would have more use for it. Two, three. Since she's always sorting stuff. Two, three. Oh, no. I gave it away. <laughs> now you'll know who my secret gifty is. You mean orange? Sorting? Yeah. <gasps> Don't worry, I won't tell. Where are you going? We still have the foxtrot to practice. Oh, it was tense, I'm telling you. I zigzagged past the cafe, ducked into the bushes, sneaked through the gazebo, hid under the bridge, doubled back, and I was there. Nobody ever saw me. And then I carefully set my gift down, knocked on the door, and ran. And what was your gift? Well, it was something I felt my gifty might use to rest her feet on while she's sewing. <gasps> Oops! Oh, I guess I gave away who my gifty was. I don't have a clue, but I have to run. See you later. Wait a minute. So Raspberry got the book from Orange, who got the book from Plum, who got the book from Lemon, who got the book from me. Did Raspberry give the book to me, or did Strawberry? And what about Mr. Longface? Oh, I forgot about Mr. Longface. This is very complicated. I can't believe no one liked my gift. I know I did. Strawberry? Oh. <sighs> don't look, don't look! Oh, I'm sorry, Strawberry. I guess I spoiled your secret. Don't worry, you're not my secret giftee. It's Mr. Longface. But Strawberry, hibiscus makes your nose itch. Achoo! I know, but it's not a gift for me. Mr. Longface has been wanting one for the entrance to his club, and I just knew it would be the perfect gift for him. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. What's the matter, Blueberry? You seem kind of sad. You, um, didn't happen to get a big gift that was a big book that you didn't like big time. Excuse me? No one liked my first frost gift. See, I had this book on sorting books that I thought was great, so I gave it to Lemon after wrapping it up all in yellow paper and yellow bow. And then Raspberry gave it to me with blue wrapping paper on it and a blue bow. Unless it was Mr. Longface, but I don't think it was. So no one liked my gift. I'm so sorry, Blueberry. A book is a wonderful gift. That's what I thought. But maybe if it's for Lemon, it should be a book about something she likes. Like watercolor painting or skin care. You know how much Lemon likes those things. Oh. Oh. You're right, Strawberry. I was thinking about what kind of gift I would like, not Lemon. Not very first frost of me. You know, I know a book Lemon would like. I better get it wrapped and give it to her right now. Well, I'm glad that's settled. <laughs> I better get this to Mr. Longface right now. Hi, Blueberry. Come back to let me finish your hair? Um, no, Lemon. Uh, I know.
know this is supposed to be secret, but I need to give this gift to you in person and explain why. But what for? It's for First Frost. But, uh, uh, I already got a secret gift. I know, I gave it to you. But it wasn't a secret gift that you would like. It was something I would like. So, here's a secret gift I think you'll like. Oh, Blueberry! The very big book of bountiful braiding! Just what I always wanted! That's the perfect first frost gift for me! Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Uh-oh, I just realized I didn't give Plum the perfect first frost gift. I just gave her the book you gave me. I know. Sorry, Blueberry. Wait! I have just the thing for Plum. <laughs> you wouldn't like it as much as the very big book on book sorting. This gift is even better because it shows me that you really thought about what I like, something only a friend would know. <laughs> Isn't this great? Oh, wonderful! <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, that's lovely, Raspberry. And look how high you can go, Orange. And those shoes really make you dance even better, Plum. I can't wait oh, either. Great. <laughs> um, I know that this has been a strange first frost, and I just wanted to apologize for not thinking of my friend Lemon when I gave her a gift. And I want to apologize to Plum. And I want to apologize to Orange. Oh, and I want to apologize to Raspberry. Oh, and. I want to apologize to Blueberry. Do you forgive me? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I know I'll always think about the person I'm going to give a gift to in the future and not myself. Me too! <laughs> now that's what I call a great first frost. Oh, but hey, Strawberry, you never showed us your secret gift. Yeah! yeah! A super duper apple masher! Just what I always wanted. Mr. Longface must have gotten it for you. And he doesn't even like applesauce. Aw, isn't that sweet? Oh, what a nice gift! And so thoughtful. He gave a gift he knew you needed and would love. Seems like we could learn something from Mr. Longface. Yeah, uh, that's right. right. That's true. Happy first frost, Miss Shortcake. Thank you so much for my apple masher, Mr. Longface. You're very well. But I thought it was a secret. Some gifts are so thoughtful, they can't be kept secret. And what did you get, Mr. Longface? I must admit that I've not received any gift at all. Did I do something wrong? Maybe there was some form I forgot to fill out. Hmm. Maybe you should check your hat and see if your name got accidentally left in there. My hat? Ahem. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> this is the best gift I could have gotten. And your smile is the best gift I could have gotten. Happy First Frost, everyone. For you. <laughs> Come on, Custard. Down you go. So, you just squeeze the bag gently. Make the frosting come out as you go. Like so. Oh, nice. Really nice. You're so good at that. Oh, pretty. <laughs> just takes a little practice. Anyone want to try? Lemon? Oh, I just know I'm going to mess up your pretty cake. Don't worry. No matter what it looks like, 
It'll taste the same. Hey, these don't look half bad. Whoa! Girls, guess what? <gasps> well, <laughs> she didn't mess up the cake. Oh, I apologize for bursting in. I'm just excited because I have some special news. Sounds like something very special. What is it? We Berrykins are bringing back an old Berrykin tradition, the Berry Bitty Buggy Derby. Oh, I remember hearing about that. I don't. What is it? The Berry Bitty Buggy Derby used to happen every year. Berrykin drivers race their cars around a track for a championship trophy. Oh, that sounds neat. Uh, why did they stop doing it? We got too busy with the harvest for a few years. Everyone sort of forgot about it. It's a shame. You sure seem to have high hopes for it now. Oh, yes. It used to be so much fun. If things go well this year, maybe it could become a regular event again. Oh, wow. That'd be so nice for you. Why do you keep frosting me? Do I look like a cake? <laughs> you do now. The Berrykins are getting the racetrack ready. Would you girls be willing to arrange all the social events that happen before the race? Sure will. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fun. Absolutely. Oh, uh, if I remember correctly, the derby was very formal with a lot of peculiar traditions. Yes, that's true. There are some very formal manners associated with the derby. Manners that we rarely use in everyday life. Uh, you might want to... Oh, girls, I'm sorry I'm late. I was researching cake decorations and forgot about the time. Is the demonstration over? Blueberry, you interrupted the princess. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry for interrupting. I didn't see you. That's all right, Blueberry. Now, as I was saying, manners! <laughs> I'm sorry, Blueberry. I was only kidding. You gave me a perfect opportunity for a joke. Yes, we all know it's very unlike you to be late or interrupt. I was just about to say to you all, you might want to brush up on the traditions and etiquette of the derby while you're preparing. Here's a schedule of the events to be planned. Thanks again! You're welcome, Princess. Planning? What are we planning? The Bitty Berry Buggy Derby. You mean the old Berry Can Car Race? I've read about that. Great! You can help us plan the events. Introduction ceremonies, where the drivers show off their cars. Oh, and the buggy ball. Oh, I bet everyone gets to dress up. Decorations for race day itself. Ooh, I've got some great stuff in my store. <sighs> Let's make this the best derby anyone's ever seen. For the princess. Yeah, so she can get her wish to have it every year. <laughs> Actually, that's starting to be my wish. I want to help the princess, too. It would help me make up for having such bad manners and interrupting her. Don't worry, Blueberry. You're about to become our resident manners expert. Me? Of course. I'm sure you're the only one here who would have a book about derby etiquette. You know, proper manners and behavior for the derby. Actually, I think I just might. Well, it took a while to find, but... The Big Book of Berry Bitty Buggy Behavior. This should tell us how to act in any buggy derby situation. Ooh, look! It says that on Berry Bitty Buggy Day, everyone is supposed to bow before talking to the princess. Why? Nobody usually bows to her. It's a formality. Kind of... a special set of manners just for the occasion. But aren't manners something you do to make people feel comfortable? Yeah. If the princess isn't usually uncomfortable when we don't bow, why would she be uncomfortable now? Well, it's also a tradition, which is a way to show respect for how things used to be done. Oh, here you go. For the introduction ceremony, it's traditional to wear one pink flower. Why pink? It may not match my outfit that day. Because that was the favorite color of Princess Bertha Berrykin, who had the idea for the race. It's kind of a way of thanking her. Oh, that does sound nice. Okay, so we gotta remember to 
bow, wear a pink flower. What happens if we forget and do something wrong? It's okay, Blueberry. Don't worry about being perfect. We'll just do our best. Now, let's go. We've got lots to do. But keep researching, Blueberry, and we'll see you later. See you Bye. later, Blueberry. I don't care what Strawberry says. I don't want to goof up in front of the princess ever again. The Derby is the perfect opportunity for me to prove I can have perfect manners. The stage looks beautiful, girls. Oh, that was all orange. She has some amazing decorations at her store. Well, for all of your help, you girls will be the first ones introduced to the drivers when they arrive. Okay, I don't understand this one either. Why do we have to be introduced to the Berrykin drivers? Yeah, everybody knows everybody in Berry Bitty City. Acting extra polite can make an event feel special. It's just another tradition. Oh, Strawberry! Oh, hi, Baby Berrykin. What's a tradition? Well, a tradition is something that keeps being done the way it was in the past. Ooh! Why? Traditions are a way to remember the past and to celebrate it. Ooh! <laughs> I like celebrations! <laughs> <laughs> Me too! <laughs> Speaking of traditions, Ooh, I hope I can remember all the ones in this ceremony. Yeah, that's why I read the whole derby book three times last night. Uh -huh. Okay, bowing, handshake, flowers, headstand. No, not headstand. Where did that come from? Look, here they come! <laughs> Why does every car have three bows on it? Oh, I know, I know. Because the very first race included only three racers, so we remember them with the three bows. Umbrellas, time for the umbrellas. Okay, now this tradition really makes no sense. Why would we open up umbrellas just because... Someone is driving. Because it's a tradition. <laughs> Very helpful. Thank you. Welcome, everyone, to this year's Very Bitty Buggy Derby. <laughs> <laughs> You're all going to have a wonderful time. So please, help me welcome the official Very Bitty Buggy Derby drivers. <laughs> Present our esteemed Derby drivers. <sighs> oh no, they've forgotten how to do the introduction. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember now. <laughs> Thanks, Blueberry. Phew. Done. I bet she forgot. And with this traditional ceremonial derby scepter, I hereby declare that the derby has begun. <laughs> what a wonderful ceremony! Just like the old days. Thanks to you, Blueberry. I think you've shown the princess very good manners by so closely following the traditions of her favorite event. Thanks. I do feel I've made it up to the princess for my bad manners earlier. At least a little. <laughs> <laughs>
Good evening, Mr. Bumblebee. My, you're looking well this evening. Uh, well, th thank, thank you, Blueberry. You're also looking... Offer to shake hands. Oh, yeah. Blueberry, what are you doing? Good evening, Miss Pudding. My, you're looking well this evening. That's what you said to the postmaster. It's me, Plum. I just want to have the best manners possible so everything goes well. For the princess, don't you think you're overdoing it just a little bit? When it comes to good manners, there's no such thing as overdoing it. Hi, Berry King Blue. Don't forget to shake hands. Huh? Uh. This is the Derby Ball, after all. We have to be proper. Raspberry, it's impolite not to wait your turn. But, uh, Jadybug told me to go ahead of her because she's still deciding. No, no, no. No bad manners at this ball. <laughs> Orange, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm just going to rest a second. Ooh, I was dancing my feet off out there. But, but you're slouching. That's not good manners. It isn't? Oh, oh, it's okay. No one can see me. But somebody might. And what if it's the princess? There, perfect. Psst. Plum, is your napkin in your lap? Uh, yes. Don't chew with your mouth open. Wasn't going to. No elbows on the table. Do you see them on the table? Be sure not to slurp your tea. Ugh. Anything else? Yes, sit up straight. Hey, where's Blueberry? She's busy, minding everybody else's manners. What's that? Well, you see, she's been running around correcting everyone's manners whenever they make a mistake. She corrected me before I even made a mistake. She really needs to relax. Hmm. Hi there, Blueberry. Enjoying the ball? Well, no. Why not? Oh, Strawberry, I'm just so worried someone is going to offend the princess with bad manners. I think you should just try to have fun. You don't need to worry about how things are going. Okay. Just as soon as I finish the chapter on the salad fork, the misunderstood utensil. Go, go, go! Woo! <laughs> uh, uh, Plum, nothing's happened yet. I know, but I'm so excited, I can't wait to cheer. Crumbling muffins, blueberry! You look exhausted. What happened? Oh, late night. Up studying. What were you studying? All the different times that it's good manners to say please and... <gasps> oh, thank you. <sighs> <gasps> what is it? I yawned. At the derby, I yawned. Oh, Strawberry, do you think anyone saw me? The book says that's terrible manners. I really think it's okay to yawn. Uh, what? What? Raspberry is standing in front of someone shorter than she is. She may be rudely blocking his view. Bad manners! Bad manners! Bad manners! Uh-oh. Manners maniac coming our way. Quick, hide! Where'd they go? I could have sworn they were here a minute ago. Hello, everyone. It's just about time for the race to begin. Before we begin, I just want to let Everyone know, we Berrykins could not have done this race without the help of Strawberry Shortcake and her friends. I also wanted to say I've so enjoyed having the race back again. I hope you've enjoyed it too. Maybe next year we can repeat it. So without further ado, I believe it's time for us to start. Oh, no. That driver is about to interrupt while the princess is talking. The worst manners mistake ever, and I should know. Driver, don't interrupt when the princess is talking. It's bad manners. <gasps> oh. oh, no. But uh, all I was trying to say is we, we can't start the race because this driver has a flat tire. Oh, dear. Oh, my. I... I guess I was...
wasn't paying attention. Thank you for letting us know, sir. I have never been so embarrassed in my life. Oh, no. Please don't leave. I was only trying to... to him in front of everybody, it hurt his feelings. And now he won't even come out of the cafe. And it's holding up the race. The rules say they can't start unless all the drivers are there. But I was just trying to make sure everything went well. I mean, why is the driver upset? He's the one who goofed up his manners. Um, actually, Blueberry, it's even worse manners to correct someone's bad manners in front of other people. I've been doing that to all of you, haven't I? Well, not exactly. I mean, not really. I mean, uh... Yes. Yes! I'm so sorry. Can you ever forgive me? <laughs> of course, Blueberry. We understand. Learning the right manners can be very confusing. Oh, and I'd better apologize to the driver, too. Now that's good manners. Excuse me, sir. I just... I mean... I wanted to apologize for embarrassing you like I did. In front of everybody. I was nervous and just was trying too hard to make everything go right. I'm sorry. Well, uh... Thank you. <laughs> I, uh... <clears throat> I know what you mean about being nervous. This is the first race I've ever been in. <laughs> I was pretty nervous, too. Well... Do you think there's any chance you might be willing to go back and finish the race? Yep. I'd say those chances are pretty good. Sorry, the race was just so exciting I forgot. I'm so glad you guys can understand and forgive me when I goof up. What can I say? That's what friends are for. <laughs> now that was the most fun I've had in ages. Somebody ought to tell the princess that we should do that every year. Did you hear that? The princess will be so happy. Hey, Blueberry, you know what else friends are for? <laughs> Celebrating when something great happens!
dessert before they cross the lake to the picnic grounds. <laughs> What's a picnic without dessert? No! No! Huh? Strawberry! We're stuck in the mud! Oh! No, Puppy. You'll get stuck in the mud, too. Catch! It's a very good thing I forgot to pack the dessert for your picnic. What happened to the boat? Whoever used it last didn't tie it up. How can we get it back? Here you go. Have a very good picnic. Thanks, Thanks, Bye. 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 Ooh, somebody forgot their phone, Strawberry. Here. Huh? I know who this belongs to. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a far, far, far away land, and she was. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh. oh, excuse me. Here, let me help you up. Sorry. Yours? No. Mine? Mine. And the prince married the princess, and they live happily ever after. <sighs> there. Finished it. Just in time for Blueberry's Book Club. Oh, here, Plum. Huh? Oh, thanks. I forgot where I left that. In the boat. Oh, yeah. That was it. I've been so busy practicing for my dance recital, I'd forget my hair if it wasn't attached. It, it is attached, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. The boat drifted away, though. Maybe you forgot to tie it up. No, I tied it up. Maybe you forgot to use two knots? One knot, two knots. Not that it matters. <laughs> well, it mattered to the Berrykins. They had to get the boat back from the middle of the lake. Just saying, you know, two knots is the rule. Whose rule? I do not recall. <laughs> well... Lemons, it's her boat. Well, maybe it's a silly rule. But don't tell her I said so. I do not want to get in trouble. <laughs> Hi, Plum. What you mailing? Invitations to my dance recital. Great. Hey, I'm, I'm getting one, aren't I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh? Got him! <sighs> Thanks, J.D. Bug. Wow! There must be enough letters here for... for... For everyone who lives in Berry Bitty City and every last Berry Kin in Berry Grove. Uh-huh. Wow! They all need to go out right away. Could you please stamp them extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery? I, I get to use my extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery stamp? <laughs> They'll be delivered faster than you can say. Extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery. Thanks. An invitation to Plum's dance recital. Wow. Oh, wow! 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 What? Is something wrong, Miss Shortcake? The date of Plum's dance recital. She's holding it here at the Cafe Cabaret stage, which is fine. Except that I think the date she invited us for is already taken. Oh, no. Blueberry signed up for that very date. Wait a minute. Plum didn't sign up at all. Oh, must be some mistake. She knows the rule about signing up. Everybody does. Strawberry! Oh, hello, Mr. Longface. Hello, Miss Muffin. Strawberry, did you give Plum my cafe cabaret night? The baby Berrykins are going to be so disappointed. I'm supposed to read their favorite story to them. I did not give her your night. Plum must have forgotten to sign up, or, or to check if the date was taken, or... <sighs> it's all right. She'll have to reschedule her dance recital. But, but she already sent all the invitations. 
Oh, poor Plum. I know. I feel badly, but fair is fair, and you followed the rules. And she didn't. Don't worry. I'll explain it to her. <sighs> well, okay. Thank you, Strawberry. I don't envy you having to tell Plum. I don't envy me either. Somebody's going to be very disappointed. Uh, Plum? Do you have a minute? Sure. Oh, did you get my invitation? Um, yes. That's just it. The day you invited everyone, the cabaret stage is taken already. <laughs> Why? Well, you never signed up for it. But, okay, so I'll sign up now. It's too late. Blueberry reserved it weeks ago to read to the baby Berrykins. Oh, no. Could she switch it to another date? It's not her. It's the rules for the cafe. It's my rules. Well, can't we just change the rules this time? She could read to the baby Berrykins any night. That's not the point. She followed the rule, so it wouldn't be fair for her to have to move her night. Oh, but all those invitations! I made them myself, by hand! I'm sorry, Plum. I'll help you redo your invitations if you'd like. No, that's all right. I'll do them myself. Well, I'm really sorry, Plum. I'm here to help if you need me. Did you say Plum's new dance recital invitation? <laughs> she's ever played. Oh boy, I haven't checked my mail yet. What does it say? She moved the date of the recital and the place. Now it's in her dance studio, not Strawberry's Cafe. And she says there are new rules for entering the studio. Listen, to gain admission to dance studio, please, one, wear a yellow hat, two, knock three times, and three, guess the secret password. <laughs> oh no. Plum, what a jokester. Um, I don't think she's joking. Of course she is. Isn't she? She's mad about my sign-up sheet rule at the cafe. But that's a rule that makes sense. Wear a hat and knock three times? That's just nonsense. Yoo-hoo! Miss Pudding, the door's locked. <laughs> We're here for our dance lessons. I hear knocking, but not three times. Strawberry was right. She wasn't kidding. I thought maybe she was being silly. She's definitely being silly. <clears throat> Password, please? Betcha it's a ballet dance step. Plie? <laughs> nay, nay. Sorry. It's her favorite pie. <clears throat> Is it? Gooseberry? My favorite pie. But not the password. Hmm. How about ridiculous? <laughs> ridiculous it is. I'll say. Uh, uh, uh. Yellow hats? But we don't have any yellow hats. Then I'm afraid. Are you serious? You're not going to let us in because we're not wearing hats? Yellow hats. Oh, but Miss Pudding, I've been practicing my foxtrot for a week. I almost have all my feet together. <laughs> fair is fair. Rules are rules. Oh, I've never heard of anything so silly. Hmm, me neither. Oh, but it gives me an idea. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, so we're okay. She's never late for book club. Maybe I'll give her a call. Hi, Plum. It's Strawberry. We're all waiting for you over at Blueberries for book club. Uh-huh. Okay. I understand. She says she needs to practice for the recital. Hmm. She should have had plenty of time to practice today, given that she wouldn't let anyone in for class. I know. I don't know what's gotten into her. Sesame? Sorry. Tickle? Nope. <sighs> well, I'll have to come by another time then. I can't guess. That's it. You got it. Hmm? The password. 
It's gas. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Uh, uh, but you're not wearing a yellow hat. Plum, I think we need to talk. I know you're upset with me, but it seems like you're taking this grudge too far. I don't know what you mean. All these nonsense rules? If you think my rules are nonsense, what about Raspberry's rules? Raspberry has rules? Come in. <laughs> but don't forget, you may only stand on the dots. What? Oh, Strawberry, it's you. You don't have to stand on the dots. May I ask who does? Well, when Plum comes here for her fittings of her dance costume, she has to. Ooh. Fair's fair. If Plum's going to make me obey silly rules for her dance studio, then she's going to have to obey my silly rules, too. <laughs> and besides, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Lemon and Mr. Longface have silly rules for Plum, too. What kind of rules? <laughs> well, uh, a lemon makes Plum wear a green hat to come to the salon, then whistle while she's getting her hair and nails done. Oh, and she has to recite a poem called Ode to a Caterpillar and call <laughs> Mr. Longface, Sir Highness Longface, before she can even enter his mini bitty golf course. <laughs> I know, I know. I think Plum's rules are silly too. Holding a grudge does not do anyone any good. But I think you're making things worse by holding a grudge too. Besides, rules should be for everybody. It's not fair that you just make Plum follow your rules. Oh, that is a good point, Miss Shortcake. Excellent point. Okay, Strawberry. I understand. Me too. Oh, I'm glad. More tea? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Strawberry. <laughs> wearing green hats. We gotta. Lemon's new rules. Oh, really? <laughs> Wonderful shot, Sir Highness Longface. <laughs> Ooh, why, why, thank you. <laughs> oh, too bad. <laughs> yes, it's your turn again, Sir Highness Longface. <sighs> That's my ball, Sir Highness Longface. Oh, my mistake, Sir Highness. I, I mean, uh, oh, oh, this doesn't work playing miniature golf against oneself. Oh, uh, hi. Orange, are you going to come try on your new shirt? It's ready. I don't think so. It's too hard hopping from dot to dot. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, bye then. Hi, Blueberry. Are you coming for your manicure this week? You haven't rescheduled. Sorry, Lemon. My lips are still sore from whistling at my pedicure. Think I better wait till next week. Okay. Uh, no problem. <sighs> Strawberry? Hi, it's Lemon. I'm having a special on facial scrubs today, and, um, well, what I'm trying to say is, you don't have to whistle. Oh, you were right. Our acting like Plum doesn't solve anything. Thanks, Lemon. I'm glad to hear you say so. I'll see you soon. Oh, those smell heavenly. <laughs> Thank you. That was Lemon. She's decided to get rid of her silly new rules. So have I, Miss Shortcake. Too much trouble for everyone. No one comes to play mini bitty golf anymore. Now, if only Plum would get rid of hers. <laughs> oh, Plum, you don't have to stand on the dots. I... I, I don't? No, <laughs> I decided it was a silly rule. People got so tired of it that no one wanted to come to the boutique anymore. Here you are. Oh, it's beautiful, Raspberry. Thank you. Uh, you RSVP'd no to my invitation. Oh, uh, well, you see, the only people who are coming are Blueberry and Strawberry. Oh, it's my new rules, isn't it? Hmm, well, to be honest, yes. 
I've been too busy to make a yellow hat. Well, guess what? For my recital, I'm waving all the rules at my studio. Now will you come? No hats, no knocking, no password. I'm in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I wanted to let you know that I'm waving all my dance studio rules tonight. So please come to my recital. <laughs> Hi, Orange. Hi, JD Bug. Need some help? Almost there. We're going to break this up into bags of nut mix. Aren't they cute? Raspberry made them. She made my dress for my recital tonight. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's um, nice. Huh? Gee. I wanted to let you know that for one night and one night only, I'm waving my dance studio rules. So I'm hoping you'll both change your minds and come to my show tonight. Okay, I'll be there. <laughs> Me too. Thank you all for coming. And please enjoy some refreshments outside. You were wonderful, Plum. And what a beautiful costume. Oh, thank you. Raspberry did a great job. Ah! What's wrong? My dance floor. Oh, there are little holes in it. It's ruined. Jadybug! Yes, Plum? Stop! Don't move! Your shoes. What is it? I'm afraid your heels made little puncture marks in Plum's dance floor. Oh, goodness. I feel terrible. But everyone knows my rule about footwear in my studio. No heels. It was my first and oldest rule. But you told us you were waving all your studio rules tonight. I... Well, I thought that meant the shoe rule, too. <sighs> I am so very sorry. I just didn't think about why you had that rule. But now I see why it was needed. Oh, Plum. What can I do? I'll help you refinish your floor, Plum. You will? Certainly. Me too, Plum. Thank you, J.D. Bug. Don't feel bad. It's my own fault. I didn't make it clear about the rules. Strawberry, you... You'd help me after I've been acting so foolish and holding a grudge and everything? Of course, Plum. I'd be very glad to help. You were right, Strawberry. Your sign-up rule was a good one, and I should have respected it, even if I didn't understand why it was important at the time. If you don't understand why a rule is important, next time, just ask. I will. Don't forget to use two knots. <laughs> we would not want the boat to get loose. And it is Lemon's rule. And it's a good one. It sure is. It won't drift away again now. Most certainly not. <laughs> is in charge of the Wanderberry hunt. And you're the Berry Fest princess this year, so you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader. <laughs> Very well, faithful berry hunters. As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look... Hmm, um, how about over that 
way, begging the princess's pardon. But the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that wonderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wonderberries need sun. It's got to be over there. <laughs> Guess they all have their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> okay, Custard, Popcake, keep your eyes open. Only one Wonderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. <laughs> There it is. The one and only, one of a kind, Wonderberry. Oh, isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry's going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. Whoa! Are you all right, Berry Kim Blue? Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Uh, had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. <sighs> but you found it. Oh, my, 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 yes, yes, yes. A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color's so rich. The shape just so, the texture. Oh, amazing! Oh, and the aroma. Oh, yes! Perfect in every way! Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pat, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Now, now, you know the tradition. It's the Berry Fest princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted no, to see yeah. if you yeah. should. Yeah. Huh? Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Mm. Uh. Go harder! You can do it! Come on, oh. Strawberry! Give it a good shake! Oh, uh. that's it! This moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh, Miss Shortcake? <gasps> What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen. Very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh. It stopped. I wonder why. All I know is we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Hee! Ho! Hee! Ho! Hee! Ho! How will we get the berry back now? 
Yeah. What'll we do, a wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. Oh, that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it together. Come on, everybody. Grab hold. Lift with your legs. Okay, guys. Count to three. One, two, three. Better hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah. Can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. Uh, we have a tradition to keep, you know? Oh. right? We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the very first princess and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess it'll be okay. Do you hear that? It sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! Disaster, disaster! What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see! Why wouldn't you tell me what... Is everything all right? The berry can tell me that... Oh. oh, my. We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit. Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the berry fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Berry Can Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true. Quite true. All right. We'll have a Wonderberry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide, Orange Blossom. You help the Berry Kim Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin. You'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you, yes. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry, okay? Woo-hoo! Okay! <laughs> Forty-six and forty-seven. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The fairy can dance, ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. 
See? We're going to be fine. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wonderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wonderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you going to do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah. Tell us, Strawberry. Well, what's going to happen? What do we do? Yeah, what? I don't know. I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me, or did she seem a little stressed? Ugh, I have no clue what to do. It's all just oh, too much. Oh, there it is again. It's coming from over there, isn't it? It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? Oh, it's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but oh, which way now? Do you think it sounds weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You can do it, Pupcake. There you go, come on now. I think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry. It's smaller than the other one, but it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry, you found it! Oh, we were worried about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the very best princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is! Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie, you fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry, you coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Uh, Strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more. Oh, well, uh, 
Uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are, I'm sorry. But this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fest feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. Yeah! But first, first, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fest princess, for this wonderful feast. <laughs> thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No, I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. True friends last forever, forever friends stay strong. True friends go together like men. shortcake. What are you up to today? I'm creating ways to make flowers different sizes, both very big and very small. Even if you don't have a whole lot of room, you can still have plenty of flowers in bloom. <laughs> That's a very clever idea. Hi, 
strawberry? It certainly is a fine morning to enjoy the flowers. Oh, well, I'm not just enjoying them. I'm going to make a new perfume with pieces of the petals. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. But it's going to be part of my new spring fashion line. My very best ever. So I want it to be really super special. Well, with all these flowers to choose from, you should have something really special in no time. Goodbye. <laughs>
for you to see, but not for me. Oh, so it wasn't just your growth spray and my perfume, but the sparkles too? It's a good thing you're so small, or we'd never have figured that out. Sparkles I can make, but I don't know how many it will take. Sure. <laughs> we did it! It 
works on a hat. But it might be best to try another test. Oh, we did it, we did it! Bake and Bloom and I found a way to shrink the barricades back to normal! That's terrific! Great news! We knew you could do it! Way to go, Raspberry! Yay, Raspberry! <laughs> 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 We need lots of sparkles. to match the right kinds of sparkles. Let's try again. This time, blue goes first. Uh, you might want to sort of duck. small enough to run the berry works. You know, you're right. Just show me what to do. I helped cause this problem. Now I'm gonna help fix it. I'll help too. Me too. Me too. Let's go, girls. All right. Raspberry, we're going to need more of your perfume. Uh, but the princess needs me to help run the berry works. And besides, I'm much too small to reach any of the flowers. That's not so. Even though we're bitty, we can do big things! Especially if some of the berrykins reach the flowers for you. Oh, I just thought of something. While we're running the berry works, who's gonna run our shops? Fruit salad, coming up as soon as I figure out how to make it. Hmm. Uh. Where's my waffle? Two cups of tea on table five. Here's the waffle boys at table four. Why well, make a waffle? Don't ask me. I've never cooked before. Neither am I. Not in place. Look at all of these. What do we do? Where are they supposed to go? I know. We'll sort him by color. He's right. Dips on green. What a great idea. So, what do we do? Whatever the Barricans used to do. Come on. Mm, that one. I sure wish we could do it the way the Barricans do it. They make it look so easy. But it's not. Oh, my. Oh, no! 
tall, but we're more used to small. <sighs> I should have realized you were just fine the way you were. I'm sorry I tried to change you just to make things easier for me. <laughs> I ended up making things awful for all of Berry Bitty City. And now we'll mix another batch to change you and your friends back to normal. you make more waiters. Before our dance rehearsal? <sighs> Doesn't look like we're having a dance rehearsal. Oh, why not? We can't get inside the studio. Flum isn't answering the door. Maybe she's still asleep. Uh, huh? That's not right. Oh my, that doesn't sound good. Tried that. I don't think she can hear us because of the music. <whistles> yes? Oh, hi everybody. Have you been knocking? Oh, sorry. I'm just very busy. What can I do for you? Uh, you called us here for a dance rehearsal. Bright and early? Is it bright and early already? I'm afraid so. Oh, would you like a muffin? Oh, I'm sorry. Come on in. It's just, I want it to be perfect. Wow! What's all this? my extra special super duper with a cherry on top dance routine. The one that's gonna beat the big bitty city dance team in this year's dance off. It looks, um, uh, complicated? You better believe it. Every year the big bitty city dancers pull up a super complicated routine. But this routine will top them all. Uh, but Plum, the dance off is only a week away. All this? Yeah, I don't know. Learn this dance? All in one week? We have to! Let me remind you what we're up against. In case you've forgotten the humiliation, the shame, the disappointment of last year's dance-off. <laughs> well, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I remember having a lot of fun. If you call losing fun. They're great! Splendid! I can't wait to see what they do this year. Whose side are you on? Oh, Plum, I think the important thing is that we have a good time and do our best. That's what I'm talking about. 
Our best. Our perfectest. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, perfectest is not a real word. But you might say our perfect best. Well, that's what I am saying then. Our perfect best. We will win. This year, we dance perfect. Perfectly. Perfectly. Thank you, Blueberry. I'm glad you all agree. This is going to be our year. The year Berry Bitty City takes the dance-off prize. But we can't dance that perfect. We, Plum. Oh, we will. Just watch me. <clears throat> Music, please. <laughs> Nothing to it. Um, that's nothing like the dance we did last year. Exactly. We lost last year. Ooh, but the outfits I designed were gorgeous. And I did a triple pirouette. Everyone in the audience cheered for us. It was spectacular. Do you see what's on that shelf? There isn't anything on this shelf. Except dust? Do you know what should be here? Uh, a dusting cloth? Uh, no! A dance-off trophy! Plum, I can see how important this is to you. And we're your friends, so you know we're going to do our very best to win that prize. Huh. Thank you, Strawberry. Finally, somebody understands. We understand, Plum. It's just... What if we help you simplify the steps a little? Yes. For example, this step could be simpler if we did just the first part. Or we could divide up the parts so each of us is doing the steps we're best at. Like, I'm really good at kicks, and Orange is so good at spins. That's a great idea, but that's not my vision. We have to do this dance, my dance, or we won't stand a chance. Well, this is important to Plum. Let's give her way a try. All together now, five, six, seven, eight. This foot goes here. This foot is over there. Like so. Up here and hold it just like this. And five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Uh. Night. All right. Because it's our first rehearsal, I'll keep it short. <sighs> but be back here tomorrow, bright and early. And when you sleep at night, I expect you all to dream of the dance. Uh, do you think Plum's taking this too far? If you asked my feet about it, they'd say yes. I know, but it means so much to Plum. Besides, it's only for a week, and then comes the dance-off. Oh, six more days of this? My toes are gonna fall off. Practice, practice, not a moment to lose. And five, six, seven, eight. Is what I was worried about. 
The day before the dance-off, the other dance team is coming, and we are nowhere near ready! Uh, Plum, it's not whether you win or lose. It's how you dance the dance. Huh? <gasps> Here they come! Welcome to Very Bitty City. We are so very delighted that we can be here to dance in your always delightful dance-off. Yeah! <laughs> How can we possibly beat them? We have to work even harder. And to give us the edge, I've designed some special additions to the dance. Oh, no! More stuff to learn? But... But we haven't learned the first dance. I've designed a new hairdo for everyone to wear when we dance. It'll make us look like a team. For me, please, could you try it out? Are you sure this will work? Of course. I designed it. Oh, Raspberry, I've got an exercise to help you with your posture. Please balance this vase on your head. And whatever you do, keep it there until tomorrow. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know about this. We'll have to design a whole new outfit to go with this vase. Trust me, it'll work. This is the greatest book ever written about dance. Please have it read by tomorrow, Blueberry. I'll try. Orange, I would appreciate it if you would pick as many glimmer berries as possible. Glimmerberry juice is super nutritious and will help give our team mega endurance. So please get tons. But tons! And me? Just keep practicing, even while you cook. Please, don't ever stop. Over twice and under once. Then around the side, roots to ends, and back again. Huh? No! My hair! <laughs> These new lovely leotards are going to look spectacular. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh bitter berries. Uh -oh. oh! How can I possibly read all of this tonight? We just had a very large harvest. Only the glimmer berries on top are left, and even our highest ladders cannot reach them. And there's no higher ladders? Oh, I've got an idea. Huh? <laughs> Just a little higher. Almost there. And she said tons, so we're going to get tons. Five, six, seven, eight. Here you go. Jeté and beat. Right. By tomorrow, my dancers will be so good, nothing can stop us from winning. It's me, Plum. We have one more rehearsal before the dance-off. Can't, won't, impossible. What? But I can't leave the salon. Maybe ever again. But why? Remember your new team hairdo? <laughs> Great idea, wasn't it? I can't be seen in public. People will run screaming. It's not so bad. Okay, maybe it is. I'm sorry, Plum, but I'm sure it'll work out much better without me. But... but... there has to be a way. Is there anything I can do? Yeah. Bring me an extra large paper bag to put over my head. I'll just have to replan the dance a bit. Coming! Okay, Plum, ready, willing, and able to dance off. What's that noise? Sorry, Plum, but it fell off my head and I stepped in it and it's stuck. Well, we have to get it unstuck. <laughs> I have 
a better idea. Why, Raspberry, what are you wearing on your foot? Her new dance shoe. Looks like a vase. Oh, I'm sorry, Plum. But I'm sure it will work out better without me. But... but... Okay, okay. Stay calm. I still have three other dancers. I read the whole book, Plum. It took me all night, but I did it. But now my eyes are so tired. I can't see straight. Okay, how many fingers am I holding up? Are you sure that's your hand? I thought it was your foot. <laughs> Wow! I asked for tons, and I got tons! This is great, Orange! Uh, Orange? Orange? Thanks for mashing all the glimmer berries into juice, but aren't you gonna come dance? No! Why? What's wrong? <gasps> what happened? I got some on me. Oh. I've been washing and washing, but it's gonna take until tomorrow to get these stains out. But, but the dance off is today! Hi, Plum. Your feet. What happened to your feet? Uh, all that dancing while cooking you wanted me to do? Oh, it gave me blisters on my feet. I can't dance. I'm sorry, Plum. But at least the other girls can dance. No, they can't either. What? I've lost my A-team. What am I gonna do? Hmm. What about your B-team? B-team? B as in Berrykins. B as in bad dancers, you mean. They were on our team last year, remember? I think that's part of the reason why we lost. But Plum... Remember, Berrykins have different skills. So you might want to modify the dance a bit to suit them. Well, I'll try it. I don't know what else I've got to lose. And five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> together, stay together. <laughs> On the beat. On the beat. <laughs> Stand still. Not on your head. <laughs> Stop! Stop, please! You've got it all wrong! No! That is not the way my dance is! <clears throat> it's just about time for the dance-off, everyone. Uh, the dance-off? Now? Welcome, everyone, to the annual Very Bitty City Dance-Off. Featuring the Big Bitty City Dancers versus the Very Bitty City Dancers. <laughs> Our distinguished panel of judges will decide the winners. First up, the Big Bitty City Dancers. dance by the Big Bitty City Dancers. And now for a short intermission before the very Bitty City Dancers begin. Uh, I can't go on. We can never be that perfect. It would just be too humiliating for me. For you, what would it be for the Berrykins? What? The Berrykins? And what would it be for all of Berry Bitty City who pitched in to help put on this dance off? Um, but but and what about the other girls who rehearsed your dance? Everyone works so hard for you. But all look silly. Maybe, maybe not. But this dance-off has to do with all of Berry Bitty City. And our guests, the Big Bitty City Dance Team, too. Not just you, Plum. Those dancers came all this way to dance for us. And to see us dance as well. But we dance like we dance. 
the Berrykins are different. Why not let them dance the way they dance best? Wouldn't that be more fun for them? You're right. I haven't been making this fun for anyone. Berrykin dancers? What kind of dance steps would you like to do? Oh, wiggle! Build a tower? Do some leapfrogging! Bouncing! <laughs> all right, everyone. Those are all great ideas. What do you think? Yeah! yeah. Good idea. Maybe a big yeah. 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 So Let's I dance. Guess. But don't do it my way. Let's do it our way. Let's have some fun. And now for our second group of dancers from your very own Very Bitty City, the Very Bitty City Dancers! This is a friendly contest. We do have to choose a winner. And it is the decision of the judges that for originality, teamwork, and enthusiasm, the winners are... the Berry Bitty City Dancers! I guess their way isn't the only way to dance well. You're right, Strawberry. Everyone's ideas, yours, the other girls and the berry kids. They all made for a better dance. <laughs> Just wait till next year. I'll design an even better dance with everyone's ideas in it. And my only rule, it has to be fun. And five, six, 